we are live. I hope. So I was just adjusting my mic there. Good morning, everybody. I see Sander, AJ, Maslin. I see myself. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How's it going? How's life treating you all today? How's business? Oh, my volume is quite loud. I was uh, doing some other stuff. I'm watching stuff on my TV last night. I forgot to adjust my volume. All right, but let's get to work right away. We got a couple of odds and ends we got to do first before we get started on anything in particular. And hey, Arrow, welcome to the stream. How's it going? So step one, we're gonna go ahead and condense. Uh, thinking right now, what we need right now is just might as well just get more artifacts, right? Like, I'm, we're farming some stuff right now. I don't think we're farming for any other particular characters at the moment. At least not until Thursday. If we want to do a little bit more Chiori runs. But other than that, I think we're pretty much good for now. Like, there's no other major... Pro there's no pressing projects at the moment. Hey, Hu Tao, what's up? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, there's nothing too pressing at the moment. So I figure we can go a little, you know, a bit more casual with our uh, resin... And just grab some more some artifacts. Hopefully we'll get something good today. Now if this was free to play, we'd have a fair bit more to do. But Including artifacts, funny enough. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, we might do some free to play today, depending on how long the Chiori uh, quest line takes. Which, with story quests, you, you never know. Sometimes they can be really short, sometimes they can be horrendously long. Hey, Ashish, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're going to be doing a Chiori story quest today. But we're just getting a bit of uh, our daily rigmarole done. You know, our dailies, our uh, event stuff, resin spending. We're getting the usual stuff done first, and then we're jumping right into that story quest. Oh, yeah, the bot, the bot is missing. Thank you, Sander. I'm gonna, I'll eventually just set this thing up to be automatic when I turn on the computer. I'll remember eventually. Hey, Kakarot, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Uh, two working days left till vacation. Feeling kind of burnt out? Looking forward to it. Ooh, are you doing a like actual vacation, or is it more like a staycation? Because, honestly, like I'm always, I'm usually down for a staycation myself. So I apologize, the bot's going to be a little spammy for a bit. Uh, also, let's try a different character. So I was thinking about Spin Yan. But I don't think I have... I'd have to, like, rejig all our artifacts and stuff and weapons, and that seems kind of annoying. Could do physical fish. That'd be kind of funny. That could be hilarious. Hmm. No, I don't want to rebuild another physical character. That seems annoying. Also, should I explore all areas to 100% or 90 to 95 is fine? Exploring is boring. If you don't enjoy the exploring, go to the point you're satisfied. That's what I'd say. If you're not enjoying the exploration, don't do it as much. Get your primos that you can, and then move on to something else. I like exploring, so like I'll go to 100%, but I usually wait until the end of a cycle. Like Once it's like, oh, we're starting 5.0, that's when I'll start like going hardcore, but yeah. That's just how I do it. Has anyone tried AFK Journey? I kind of like it. What do you think? I have not tried it. I've never heard of that. Staycation health isn't allowing travel at the moment. I uh, understandable. Well, enjoy your staycation, and I hope uh, things start looking up for you. My cookbook I just fell over, and I don't know why. Hold on, one sec. I just had some. I just had a bunch of stuff fall over for no reason. We just can't make sure I'm up to the internet. Did anyone play or have played Omori? Um, I know about Omori, but I've never actually played it myself. Let's see, who could make for a fun on-field DPS? Like, I mean, we've tried Ning Wong, we've tried... Hmm, actually. That could be something. Hmm. Hold on, maybe... Hold on, I might be cooking here for a second. I don't think he's built at the moment, though, so I'm not so sure about this, but... What about, like... A, uh... Bloom Geo team? So, like, if I explore 99%, will I get enough singles for, like, Inazuma and Sumeru Tree? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because exploration includes a few different things. But most of it is treasure chests. So if you get that 90 to 95%, you've most certainly gotten almost all the treasure chests. 
Like, you're pretty pretty set at that point. Because the other 5% are going to be, like, a few odds and end treasure chests and mostly money rocks. Like, those little money rocks that you can find, like, those little triangles that give, like, 15,000 mora. They're, they're worth, they're in that calculation as well. So... But yeah, you'll get enough. You'll definitely get enough doing that. What are we thinking here, though? We could do, like, a Geo-Taser team. That could be weird. Give me a character. Give me a good DPS character that could make for, like, some interesting cooking with, like, two Geo characters. Actually, hold on. I am cooking. I'm actually cooking here. What if it's... The campaign begins. What if we do that? No, it can't be like that. Hold on. Wait, wait, I'm cooking still. Give me a sec. I have to rearrange this though. And then Bennett. Any Benny. Where's my Benny? Okay, so Raiden G Raiden G Oh my god, I have the name. I have the name. Hold on, chat. Raiden Geographic. Oh my god. No, it doesn't fit! No! Unless I do this. Riding Geographic. Those rocks co count? And those floating boxes in the water? Yep, they count. Okay. Okay. So you've heard of Riden National. Yeah, small boxes floating in Inzumi. Yeah, the ones, like, the boxes that just float in water. You, like, you grab them, they give, like, a thousand mora or something like that. Those count. Anything that you can, like interact with and doesn't respawn, I believe counts. So, okay. Okay, so you've heard of Raiden National. You've heard of Raiden International. Well, here is Raiden Geographic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry in the least, actually. Let's do it. Let's see what this team does. This is going to be good, right? Like, this is going to be incredible, right? 100%? Like, there's no doubt that we may have just discovered the new best team in the game. Do we all accept this as, as like, the canon? This is a fact? Uh-oh. Benny Burst is not available. Downside with going in with no Burst. 100k on that. Okay, so we get, like, a nice 99k on that. Let's see how good the rotation is, though. Now, this is a Shogun team. The rotation should be perfect. Like, there's no universe that the rotation isn't perfect, right? Yeah. No, it's perfect. Uh, I'm not going to go into ham here because... Um, literally, they're going to die too fast to get any energy back off them. Should I go for C1 Nuvi or just get a uh, shield? Don't have Zhongli. I would get Zhongli. Over C1 Nuvi. Nuvi is so busted sideways out of the gate that, like, his constellations are so unnecessary. They're so overtuned, right? Like, sure, it'll, it'll make him more ridiculous, absolutely. But one of his best pairings, honestly, is actually Zhongli. Because it's so much safety, it's a neutral damage buff. And, you know, what you can, and then if you're running both of them, you can call the team Law and Order. So, you know, there's that. But I'd, I'd go. I'd definitely go for uh, Zhongli over a C1, a constellation for Nervalet personally. Ooh, an HP goblet on this set with like really good crit stats. What do we feel about this? I think you keep this, right? There's not a lot of characters that this would be like super hype on, but the ones that it is hype on is pretty good. Uh, that's an attack goblet. I'm less excited about that. Now that, on the other hand, I'm very excited about. That's very good. If that last stat hits attack percent or health, like HP percent, this is like a dream piece. In fact, you know what? I'm going to roll that one immediately. That one's, uh, I'm not wasting any time on that one. I don't have Zhongli, and he's not coming, coming soon, so I should build another Shielder or see one newbie. Oh, uh, okay. Well, if you're building another shielder, if you if you feel the need, I can think of like this your second best pick is probably Layla. Do you have constellations on your Layla by chance? And we're gonna go 
ahead and you know, golden troop. We just found a friggin' potential god piece. Yes. We hit defense percent. Now that's actually not terrible. This means that this is gonna be this is probably gonna be an Albedo piece, depending on how this rolls. This could be a neutrally good piece, but I am prepared to accept this as an Albedo piece. So should I build another shield or C1 newbie? I think honestly though, I still think you save. I don't think you go for the C2 the C1 newbie. That's a lot of ER, actually. Hmm. I'm not super thrilled about that, but it's not bad. Like, there's a couple of hype characters coming up. Like, Health Arena is getting a rerun soon. Ugh. Yeah, this is not turning out very well. Actually, I hate to say it, I think it's scrap. Like, that's a lot of ER, which is kind of nice, but, like, man, it, it rolled really bad. I, I think we scrap it, sadly. Is there any other ones I want to roll before I go back to it? Oh, yeah, actually, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna roll this one real quick. This was uh this was a Furina one, I think. Ooh, that should be absolutely locked. At Ooh, no, maybe that shouldn't be locked. Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of bad, actually, isn't it? Got a lot of crit rate though. Uh, okay, that's not horrendously bad. All right, I'm I'm willing to roll this the rest of the way. C2 Layla I have. She's good. Off-field cryo player, too. Will she work in the Abyss, though? Absolutely. She's... I would wager she's, like, tied for, like, the second best shield bot. That's a lot of crit damage. That's not bad. That's a good piece. We like that. I would say Layla's probably tied for, like, the second best shield bot. I'd, I'd put her in the same category as, like, Diana as just being, like, a powerhouse shielder. Big shield, good supportive abilities, application. She kind of does everything you want. And if you have her C4 especially, her C4 is monstrously good. I love her C4. Her C4 is so good with certain characters. But I still think even if you're not, like, if Zhongli's not coming anytime soon, I still th I think you build another shielder still. Like, build the Shek and Shield character, don't go for the C1 or the let though. I, I don't recommend it. I don't think it's needed in the least. I think you're just going to be like... Oh, I think you're going to be honestly a little disappointed. Because you're like, you're, you're going to be doing the same thing regardless. It's like, yep, I'm still uh, clearing the Abyss in like one shot, so, you know. Because like, what is his C1? Before I go any further, let's actually read his C1 together. When Nervalet takes the field, you obtain one stack of past Dramaconic Glories from his passive... You must, uh, of course, unlock it. And is an interruption to resistance is increased by... Okay, I get what you're thinking here. I get why you... Yeah. <sighs> one free stack? How big is that? How big is one free stack? Mm. One stack of pass for going to Increases charge attack damage by, like... Yeah. Like, nah, it's it it's not doing very much for you, right? Have I tried wishing? Not recently. But like, yeah, whenever you do a reaction, you get one of the stacks anyway, and it's not like the uh, I don't believe the constellation increases the max stacks, right? You increase more. Like, other than that, you get resistance to interruption, but if you're building another shield character anyway, you don't really need that, so it's like... I think it's very moot. You won't notice the difference. But yeah, so my, my personal recommendation... And you don't have to do this. Just keep in mind. Like, this is just a recommendation. You are your own... You are, in fact, still your own person. You can disregard what I'm saying. But I would... Build the second shield, build the shield character, like build the Layla or your Diona or something, and then go for someone else instead of C1 newbie because it's very overkill. It's not even overkill because it doesn't even do that much. Oh, so, okay, I'll catch up, catch up in the chat in just a second. I see there was a follow up to what I was saying earlier, and I just can't see it right now. What to use with newbie? Kazuo, Layla, then Zhang Ling will not freeze the enemy. Then who to use? If you don't want to like, if you want to make sure you're freezing, 
Jungling's still good. Like, Easy Bake Melts is, like, good. It's tons of damage, definitely. But uh, I would run a second Hydro. Any other Hydro character. Uh, I'm very partial to um, uh, Kokomi myself for that slot. Because, A, that gives you extra Hydro application for Easy Bake Freezes. It gives you a healer, which is important. So having, like, a backup plan if things go south. But, yeah, go for, like, any Hydro character, realistically, because that gets you your double Hydro buff for bonus HP. Farina would be good, then Farina would be really good. Farina's a little dangerous in that setup still, because it means everyone in your party is sitting at half health. Except for Nervalette. Ideally, but, um... Farina would be for maximizing your damage? Absolutely. For safety, it would be Kokomi. So it just depends on your preference. And what you're comfortable with. If you want to, like, s like steamroll everything, though, definitely Furina. The synergy is real. Stabilize. This is order. I'm going in. Huh? Delicate silk. Next Her burst does more damage than Raiden's. Just by a little bit, but like, damn. It's pretty good. Order Everybody stand back. Let's drop the code. Alright, that was the last run in here. Can we get something good? We've gotten some we've gotten like some okay ones. I wanna take a moment actually after and just kinda like spy our artifacts a little bit and see if we can build like a Furina set yet. Ugh. Like I'm sure we have the stuff for it, right? We gotta do it at this point. I know I was saving HP stuff, so I believe if I remember right, I was putting all my... I was going to put all of it on my Hydro Traveler. So, let's take a look. -see. Yeah, okay. So... That is not the sauce. I'll tell you that right now. So, let's go ahead and build a... Huh, Gladiator Family for... Gladiator is your apparently the most popular set for Traveler. What? Man, what a time to be alive. Does the pillar made by Zhang Li do damage? It releases a shockwave again and again. Yes, it does a little bit of damage. It does a bit of damage and applies Geo. Okay, so flower, good. Feather. We need a feather with HP and like crit stats. So, what is our best one? Do I have one that has double crit stats HP? Okay, that's probably our best one so far. Okay, that's actually our best one, I think. Energy recharge, HP, and crit rate. Yeah, let's roll up this one first and see how it goes. Attack percent is not necessarily bad, but it's not what we want. I'm going to go ahead and say no to this one. I'm going to go with that other one I saw that looked a bit more exciting. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Mm, yeah, we're going to just... We're going all in. Oh! Oh, wow, this is, like, literally the perfect feather. Okay. I literally can't ask for much better than that. Hey, Leakin, welcome to the stream. How's it going? And Sinale. Uh, Sinale? Sinale? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? How's life treating you today? And, uh, hey, Ray, welcome to the stream. And also, uh, what Leakin said there regarding um, Zhongli's uh, pillar is very true. Wow. That's a great Furina feather. All right. Do we have a good HP feather we can throw on? Uh, well, there's that one. That would be, like, ideal, I think, but that's currently on Nervalette. I know I had saved a few HP pieces, but I'm not sure if I have... Ooh, ER. Uh, what do we got? Like, 
don't think... Oh, wow, we don't really have a good hourglass, do we? Well, we do, but it's in use, so we might... We might have to steal that, unfortunately. And then find something else for Noob to use. Chillin'. Cool. Also, can Hydro Traveler heal himself like Fontaine characters? He can. Yeah, he can. When Hydro Traveler pick up, picks up his orbules, he gets uh, a bit of... Uh, he gets his health back. Alright, defense, attack. Do we have... Oh, there was the HP one that we got. There's an attack one. Yeah, yeah um, oh, Hydro damage. So the substats are kind of mid, but... Maybe we think about it. Okay, we're not, we're not going to worry about that. In the meantime, let's look for a good crit damage one. We want a good crit damage one, preferably with HP or crit rate on it. Like that one. Or that one. Yeah, it's probably just that one. Okay, uh, chat, let's get your opinion on this. For a Furina headpiece, do I want to prioritize HP percent or do I want to go for the one that has crit rate on it already? What do you guys think? Because I'm I'm leaning towards the HP one because we're going to be using a crit rate weapon that generates more crit rates. So I don't think we'll need crit rate beyond base. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm leaning towards HP. We want to see what anybody else thought. So yeah, we'll do with this HP one. Now that's a little concerning, but it can still roll good if this lands on AL HP, or at least mostly HP. It doesn't have to be all HP, just mostly. Hmm. I think it's a lost cause. Hey, Squid, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think this might be a lost cause, because even if this has to hit, like... Even if it's HP again, I think it's pretty bad. Alright, we'll go with the other one, the one that had crit rate on it. Like, it still has a stat we could throw on it, too, so, like, it's not... It's not the end of the world. It's not horrendous. It's certainly not bad. I'll, get, I'll say that much. Let's go all in. Screw it. Now that's bad. Okay, so... Do we have another crit damage one we could do? I think that might actually be all I have for crit damage. Oh, no, there's one more. It has EM on it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I just suffer through this one. What do you think? It died. Okay. Uh, do we go with another one and just hope to hit a bunch of EM and, like, another good stat? Or do we just, like, finish this one off and just cope? How cope am I feeling today? Also, I know what happened yesterday on Discord. As soon as I got off for the day, my sister told me what happened. Oh, with the the bots? This was physically hurt for the lodge. Hey, honestly, it's a fair trade. We got a really good feather... We got a good flower the yesterday. Like, we got good artifacts today, so we can't, they can't all be winners. How cope are we feeling? Do we just give up on these two and then just, like, try for one more? I guess I'll just try for one more. I'll feed the A-level 18 one because I know that one's never getting used. Like, this one's just bad. The other one, maybe. Oh! Okay, weirdly enough, hear me out. I think this is okay. Huh. Can you hit flight HP one more time? Eh. It's weird, but... That's really strange, but at the same time, I'm like, am I okay with that? Uh, let me see if I can find a better hourglass for Noob to use in the meantime, and then we're gonna... I'm gonna steal that one from him. Because that's gonna make for a really good Furina piece. Uh, HP percent. I mean... Obviously, this is, like, one of my best ones. Uh, oh. That's bad. The one on Zhongli is obviously very good. Yeah, we'll use... I'll put this on him for now. It's obviously a downgrade, but for the sake of having a Furina set completed, I'm gonna do it for now. Oh, excuse me. Just sneeze my face off. Also, what is the verification? Am I needing to do anything with that? Nope, it's just for new people. Yeah, you're good. 
All right, we need a Hydro Cup, I think. Let's find a Hydro Cup. Now, the one I'm running on Iado is actually quite good, I think. That the one on Shincho is one of my best. The one on Monena is my best. Nervalets is also good, but his is on set, so it needs to be there. Uh, this one, if it wasn't attack percent, I'd actually be down with it. This one has a lot of hope, actually. That could be good. Uh, hmm. What are we thinking here, chap? Why is your Furina looking kind of blonde? Oh, because uh, we got Furina. We, ch we opted to get Furina on my free-to-play account instead of this one on my main account. And now, after do messing around with a few different builds and stuff and other characters, we're like, I really want Furina on this account to do a few things because there's a couple of really funny team comps I want to do with her. But, unfortunately, I did not was not able to get her on this account yet. Mm. Oh. Oh, hello. Mm. If this was like any other character, I think I'd be thrilled about that, but the fact that it's uh, for Furina, it's not great. Uh, we'll just go ahead and dump both of these. Oh? Oh? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so we have a Furina build now. We're going to throw Wolf Fang on her, because this is going to be her weapon. So the, the build is 51 over an even 200. So this is what Furina's going to look like when we get her. She's a little low on ER, sadly, but I think, um, I think it'll make up for it. But the ER. No, the ER is going to be a problem potentially, but uh, we'll we'll play it. We'll feel it out. If it's really bad, if it's really a problem, we'll switch her over to the lead pipe. But or try to like maneuver the team to try to battery her a little bit. So we'll feel it out once we actually have her. It looks good though. <sighs> That is a good that is a good Furina build, I think, to start with. Alright, cool. That is a very, very good start. In the meantime. Or now we can oh, we're done with that though. We can now go get some Chiori lore. Some Liori, if you would. Crab. Crab. Uh for Chiori's story, what kind of a quest team should we use? This is this is obviously the most important aspect of this uh, of this quest. We have to figure out what team is Chiori run with. What is the most Chiori team? Like, I want to. Do we do like? For some reason, is D Luke in town? Do we do Mono Geo? What are we thinking? We just do Mono Geo. Oh, we could do like an Iado version. Sure. Actually, that's not a bad idea. So, Zhongli. We'll just do a. Hmm. We'll just do a. Like, non. Nothing What's fancy that? Iado. Just like on Zhongli field Iado. We'll throw Bennett in there as a buffer, and it doesn't really matter, right? It shouldn't matter. Like, I don't think we're going to be fighting some kind of super boss at the end of it, but good call on the Ayato, just the same. Alright, Chiori, time to go talk to yourself. Let's go. Oops, I cut off Paimon there by accident. No, it's not okay. You're fired. I would love a character that his old kit is to restore energy to the party. Yes, I know Electro Traveler and Shogun exist. What's a Dory? Well, I'm heading off now. Alright, thanks for uh, hanging out for a bit. Appreciate you, man. Have a good one. 
I told you I could do it using the leftover funds from the Don't want to be spoiled. Ah, uh, gotcha. Don't tell me you're afraid that I cheaped out on the dress. All right, I got you, man. Take care, man. Have a good one. No, not at all. I have only the fullest faith in your work, Miss Chiori. Mm. I'm just in shock, that's all. It's always been my dream to wear a Chioria boutique dress for my wedding. I really thought the chance had Hey, Azel, welcome well. to the stream. Those spricks for Furina, HP cup is better than hydro damage because she double scales with HP and the damage she receives from burst is calculated alongside E damage for bonus hits. Well, we just rolled a friggin' awesome H uh, a friggin' awesome uh, hydro cup, so I kind of want to roll with the hydro cup just because, god damn it, rolled like a king. Like, you don't roll a, a hydro cup that good and not use it, right? Right. Right. Rosebrix, could I tell you a joke? Uh, sure, I guess. I don't see why not. Perhaps it's because of Fontaine Fashion Week. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, you've got a point there. Well, what's she doing with the I could use a I could use a trip to Fontaine it. Fashion Week. I mean, look at me. Look at my World of Warcraft T-shirt. I need to get some drip. I'm a woman. Hey, DBZ life. fan, welcome to the if stream. If I say I can do something, then it'll be done. The first rule of business is to always keep your promises. It's not as big of a difference when you use an HP circlet, but using an HP cup means you could use a uh, crit circlet. Yeah, I'm kind of all in on, like, the crit stats right now because I'm le I'm leaning more on Wolf Fang than I am on her burst right now. That's kind of, like, how I'm looking at it. At least with this setup. But we're going to experiment. We don't have her yet, right? So we gotta, we're going to experiment once you actually have her. I want to figure out... I want to see what feels good. Yeah, offensive. I mean, an offensive joke here and there can be fine if it, depending on what 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 flavor of offensive, I guess. Use your better judgment. If you think you're gonna get in trouble, keep it to yourself. Bro, if anyone ever calls you fat, ignore them. I know you have a lot on your plate. <laughs> okay, okay. If it's at my expense, I'm okay with it. I'm all right with that. That's pretty funny. Now, remember to not fold the gown. Or store it under direct sunlight. I'd recommend only taking it out mm -hmm. on the day of the wedding. But from the look on your face, I can tell that may be a little difficult for you. I spread funds by 50-50 for Kazu. I'm saving for Furina. Ooh. I think Hazel should have the Joker roll. I think he may be a little too young for that. Oh, I'll try my best. <laughs> Once he sees me in this... His jaw is gonna drop straight to the floor. Do I get to see it? Chiori, you're actually at your shop today. Hi, Chiori. We're talking like we're like best friends, but we've like only met like once for like a couple minutes, and I think we only had like a couple like conversations. Is that really so shocking? It is mine after all. Yeah, Paimon. Anything you're looking for today? I'm gonna turn uh, my volume just a smidge so I can hear better. Perhaps some ready-to-wear outfits for kids. <laughs> You are child size, Paimon. In fact, actually, I think most children are bigger than you, Paimon. Yeah, uh, what's up with Fontaine Fashion Week? Oh, that. No bullying, you're beautiful the way well, you are. If news of the event has reached your uh, what server do you play on? Uh, I play on I NA for my main account. Association's advertising efforts Hold on have paid off. So I, uh, NA is my main account, and EU is my free to play account. Paimon is a... I don't think she is. I wouldn't categorize that. She's like... She's like a fairy. Right? So... Ugh, I'm not getting into that. Are there any fun and popular activities that we can take part in? Let's not, let, let's, let's not get into that one, Azel and Ashish. That's a, that's a dangerous topic. No, she's a fish. You know what? Squid's right. Paimon is a fish. Keep blue archive players away from this chat, please and thank you. <laughs> wow. No mercy. Brutal. Oh god. Um Hazel, to answer your question, 
it is... How do I answer this without... Because it's not inappropriate in its own right. Like, it of itself is fine. The word itself doesn't mean anything bad. It's just... It's basically just, like... But... The connotation, you know? Paimon is a Pokemon. I thought she was a balloon. Yeah, the way people use it, right? So it's like, answering this question is strange, because it's like, the word itself is fine? It doesn't mean anything bad? I'll, I'll just I'll just say what it is. The, 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 what it is, it's, it's basically like, uh... Young, like... Young female, like, 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 child female character from, like, an anime. Like, Japanese word for young female, essentially. But the, the context of how it's used is bad. So, it's, it's a word I would typically avoid in most sentences, Azel. I wouldn't, I would not adopt that into your normal language. It's not good. It, it, it has a bad context. I hear, like, some anime lollygog. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know the kids, because... Yeah, just uh, just know that the word itself is fine, but the context it's often used in is very bad, potentially. So, avoid it. That's my advice. It's, uh, Ray, Paimon is a fish, yes. And Ray, to answer your question, what, what Azel's talking about was, like, a video that was going around YouTube. It, it went viral. Small height, yeah, yeah. A young animated child disguised as an adult to make it okay to be a creep online? Not necessarily. That's part of it. That fits into the category, but it's not um, exclusively that. But anyway, let's let's get some lore. We're here for some Leori. Fashion week isn't what I'd call fun, but it certainly always attracts a crowd. It's a fashion extravaganza that only takes place once a year, after all. Mm -hmm. Will you be showing off some of your designs too? Paimon is not a fish. We literally saved her from drowning. She is a Pokemon, like Pikachu. Trust me. And you know what? No, she's a... Okay, look. We all did the Fontaine story quest. We all know, canonically speaking, she is a balloon. Right? I thought she was a flying object. She's a balloon. Remember the first, uh, the first part of the uh, Fontaine story quest? She's a balloon. I was once reading a book, and the author was using that word... Just to refer to a random kid in an innocent interaction. That weirded me out. Yeah, because, like, the word itself is fine. The word just means, like, little girl, essentially. That, that's what it means. At its core. Just like how you would use, I think, uh, Shoda for a little boy. In Japanese. The word is fine. It's the context that it gets used in a lot now. Because of the internet. So, yeah. Paimon is a uh, Pai Pal. A wild Pokemon appears. I told my aunt who's your who's your favorite lolly character from Genshin, thinking it meant short character. Still don't know what it means, but she was like, What? What did you say? I was like, Oh, calm down. Well, yeah, like that's why most people I'll give you some advice on this, Azel. Most people who want to avoid that reaction when they're talking about the kid characters of Genshin, the little characters, they call them chibi. They're the chibi characters. Like Klee, Yao Yao, uh, Sayu. They're chibi. They're the chibi characters. So, that's that's if you want so, a little piece of advice on that one. What broke its essence is how it was mostly used when talking about... Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, Ray, Ray's got that pretty much summed up. Think about this. If Traveler and his sis reunite in the future and decide to go to their world, will they take Paimon with them? She has no one besides the Traveler. You know what? That's a question that people have brought up. I've read a couple of, like, people's, like, not theories, but, like, little webcomics discussing the topic. And it could be really sad. Or it could be, like, kind of interesting. I don't know. You are all creeps. I just searched it on Google. Well, no. The whole point is that we're trying not to be creeps here. We're trying to explain it in a way that doesn't have you Googling it. God damn it. You putz. Of course. All designers at the Court of Fontaine use the week to advertise their brand. If you're lucky, mm -hmm. you could even land a large amount of orders as soon as the main show ends. Ooh, money. That makes you a creep, to be honest. I think Leakin's right, unfortunately. Damn. You're the one who Googled it, man. I don't know what to tell you. What do you think Pyro Traveler is going to do and be? Uh, I think he's going to be an off-field... 
DPS. He's gonna be the second Pyro Sword character. That's what he's gonna be. <laughs> I enjoyed this convo more than I should have. Honestly, it's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, let's go, let's get some Liori. It was also at a previous fashion week that our label Loria. Pretty much an established name now. People will still buy your clothes even if you don't participate this year, right? I am quit. Journal came from a book called Lolita, 19, 1955. Oh, it's just a Japanese word, right? And Lolita is a different thing. I think. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't mean your creeps. It's just why. Universe by yourself. Yeah, we're, this is a family-friendly... I try to keep this as, like, PG-friendly-friendly. Family-friendly as I can. You know, it's good for business. Well, they will take her home for sure. Paimon doesn't have a family and she cannot survive on her own. Probably. I hope so. Honestly, what I see happening is that we're going to get to the end of the Tevat storyline, and then if Genshin is still super profitable and they're making good business off it, they're going to do Genshin Impact Part 2, and they're just going to carry everything over to a new storyline. Where you're probably, like, hopping to a new world or something. If I had to wager, I guess. That would be my I, what I'd put my money on. PG friendly friendly. Yeah, I'm PG friendly friendly. Anyway, lore. Yeah, that's not quite how it works. While many people buy clothes for fit and style, mm -hmm. the fashion industry also strongly values a label's artistic vision and creative direction. Oh god, not the fashion industry. Why would anyone patronize a label that hasn't even bothered to put out any new designs for the year? Mm. In the end, fashion is just a representation of the spirit of the times. People support your brand because the they real fashion the is that dog with the top hat. Huh. Okay, so maybe fashion's more complicated than Paimon thought. <laughs> Honestly, fashion's not that complicated. Just don't, don't, don't watch fashion shows. They're, they're horrifying. All complicated stuff aside, you're saying we'll be able to see new Chioria designs at the show? Anyway, let's have uh, let's leave that before I become more kaboom. True, I agree. I like, Azel's on the right track, I like it. Will they make part two? So, like, all our characters are built, will be of no use? Uh, no. They actually did this recently with one of their other games, actually. They've done, um, Honkai Impact 2. Kampai... Honkai Impact 3rd Part 2. And, as I understand it, it's just a new storyline, but with all the characters got carried over. Absolutely. So that's what I'm expecting, because they've already shown that that's kind of their intention. Pompeii Impact. I can speak English. Ooh, are you using materials you can't get in Fontaine? Well, I still have a certain partiality to Inazuma-made fabrics. The textures are pleasant to the touch, and their familiarity gives me a sense of security. Oh, oh Paimon gets it! It's that feeling of home! Ugh, something like that. Yes. We're a long way from Inazuma, Give me some lore. Though. Aren't you concerned that your shipment might get lost or stolen along the way? Don't worry, it's getting probably delivered by, uh, the, the kitty cat. No need to worry. I've already taken steps to ensure that it'll arrive safely. I've entrusted the job to Komani Express's most reliable courier. That's a character we should build. Hey, uh, Jet... Jayton. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Just checked out your YouTube and think that you should look for an editor to be honest. Ouch. Oof, ouch, my feelings, that actually hurt. Well, I can't afford that. Real talk? I can't afford that. I do it myself because I can't afford I couldn't afford to have someone do it for me, like damn. Anyway, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Jerry seems weird, she doesn't feel like Traveler's friend. It does feel a little weird, doesn't it? Well, Sprix is still growing. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a baby YouTuber. I'm tiny. Hey, I know that character. Jerry, your your shipment's here. I know it's quite late, so I'm oh, really, really sorry. Damn. Deep breaths, Kirara. Then start again. Oh, so Kirara's the courier you were talking. 
talking about? Yeah, she's the best courier in uh, Komonomi Ko uh, Express. How much can you afford? I I can't afford anything. That's the oh, problem. Hey, Traveler and Paimon. I, gotta, I, I pay my bills and that, that's it. No way. Would you fancy a game of Genius Invocation TCG? <laughs> uh, maybe next time. Considering how late this delivery is, I'm not sure this is the time to play cards. Plus, I know this shipment is really important to Chidori, so I should... Oh my god, did I just, I just hit her with the, like, there's something tragic going on. Would you like to play some Gwent? Oh yes, I'd love to. Uh, that's a lie. Your channel size, your vids are fine. The way you edit out, edit wise. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. If Foxy was here right now, you think he'd be talking about Chiori shoes by now? Oh, definitely. I could be his editor. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, like, who are you, Chiori? Where were you when Rian Fontaine was drowning? Oh, she was probably, like, in her store, selling clothes. Forget your problems. Play TCG. Exactly. Wait a second. This is the second time that you've seen me flip a delivery job now, isn't it? Oh, you somehow always happen to catch me off my game, huh? So, always. what was the holdup? Sailing blaze, bad weather, huh? No, nothing like that. I just ran into a bit of trouble, that's all. What's the trouble? Bandits, then. Or treasure hoarders. Hmm. A few run-ins on the road aren't usually enough to give you any trouble. Imagine out of nowhere, we just started writing Genshin pickup lines in the chat. Yeah, let's not imagine that. I don't like that. That sounds stupid. <laughs> don't do that. Why is this cat girl here? I thought she was from Inazuma. Oh, she goes all... She's uh, she's Mrs. Worldwide. She's actually supposed to be here. She basically delivers all over Tevat. That's normal, actually. Uh, well, I didn't run into anyone exactly. I just got a little lost. Your tails. I'm keeping you honest as always, I see. I bet you lost the package, didn't you? All right, all right. I was stopped by a group of bandits as soon as I entered Fontaine. They were a little different from the ones I usually run into. I could hear them mumbling about Comunia Express. It was obvious they were looking for someone with two tails. Oh shoot, she got called. She's Goro's girlfriend. <laughs> that was honestly, I don't think so. I think. No, they... <laughs> Stop shipping. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that shit out. Uh, I got the sense that they were actually targeting Chiori's goods. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess they got Chiori's goods. My fabric shipment? Yeah, they said that I could go as long as I left the goods with them. Otherwise, they'd stuff me into my delivery box and toss me into the sea to drown. Oh. Oh, are you okay, Kira? Well, that sounds terrible. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I'm still a yokai after all. I turned them over to the guards. It just took me a while to round them all up. Oh, right, she's got superpowers. Well, it's not completely out of the ordinary for one of your deliveries to get intercepted. But it still doesn't make sense how you knew it was my goods they were after. You've got other deliveries to make in Fontaine, don't you? Is there something else that you're keeping from me? Uh huh? Um... Well... <laughs> Perhaps I need to reconsider how many stars to give you in my review. Uh oh. Also, Azel. Boo. Boo. Uh, <laughs> you always know how to get me, Chiori. All right, I'll talk. I'll talk. <clears throat> so, I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to know why anyone would order a hit on me. So I spent a bit of time investigating. Oh. And one of the bandits had a loose tongue, which saved me some time. He said that a certain person had commissioned them to intercept Gioria Boutique's delivery. I don't know why she wouldn't share this from the beginning, but okay. And who might this person be? Uh, Chiori, why don't we just let this one go? I mean, I didn't really get injured, okay. and still got Fashion Week to worry about. I appreciate your kindness, Kirara. But if I don't teach this person a lesson, I doubt they'll stop here. Anyone that dares to mess with one of my friends deserves a stern talking to and then some. Yes, uh, talking to. My friend from Nolder Grade has a really weird ship. Okay. All right. The I'm not sure I want to hear about this. I feel like this is going to only upset me. This can only make me upset, but... Uther. Wait, Uther Lightbringer? Why is Uther here? 
What the hell? You're in the wrong game, buddy. Uter. Sorry, Uter. 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 Oh, so he's like a business rival. Ayo, Ayo, welcome to the stream. How's it going? A rival is what you call someone who fights you fair and square. True. Uter, however, Uter. just has it out for me as a designer. He's publicly disparaged my design choices, my use of materials. <laughs> he's practically tried every trick in the book to ruin my good name. Beat him up. I've already warned him before to compete with me fair and square. But I guess he prefers playing dirty. Well... I'm more than happy to oblige. And yeah, what Leakin says there is true, because once some person starts, it never stops. And then I gotta start then I gotta start timing people out, and then it just ugh. Ugh. Big ick. It's a big ol' ick. I missed Ashish's mess. Oh. Oh? Uh-oh. Turn that frown upside down. I'm doing Rio story quest. Oh wow. Squid, you're behind. You're behind to the times, man. Don't threaten people as a joke. Yeah, yeah, generally speaking, bad bad taste. Generally in bad taste, my dude. That's all I'm going to say on that. Wait, Chiori, where are you going? I'm going to commit arson. To teach someone a lesson. You must be tired after your long journey. Why don't you rest in my shop for a little while before heading back? Chiori, wait! And she's gone. Hmm. Oh, no... What should we do? We should assist her in committing arson. You seem concerned. Should we be worried about Chiori? Not a joke. Hey, man. You gotta relax, man. This is a chill stream, man. We're just here to vibe and hang out, dude. Keep it wholesome, yeah. No angie. Just woke up getting ready to exist, you know? I feel that. It's not... Yeah, I always say, waking up and getting up are two very different things, right? What did she do? Honestly, I'm not sure. Actually, I can check. Oh, they added a... They added... Ah. Yeah, Ashish, don't do that. I just saw the message. Don't do that. Azel, Azel is a young lad. Don't mind him. Well, she's always been the type of person to face things head on. But with her fiery temper, I'm just worried whatever she's about to yeah, do will feel Ashish. negative publicity about her right before the start of so, the show. Yeah, take, they, it's, let's all bring it down a little. No need for... Angriness. It's all good. Just waking up in the morning. Gotta thank God. Azel is much better if we talk about, like... <laughs> wow, rude. Traveler, Paimon, could you go after her and check out the situation for me? Mm -hmm. As a formal employee of Komania Express, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to get involved. True. Yeah, sure. we'll take I'm on care it. of Chiori. Uh, who is Aiko? Uh, what is... Aiko is a regular viewer. Uh, she's also part of the mod team. Safety. I'm not. When they talk about tonight, chapter one, act one. I wonder if we could somehow fit uh, Kirara into this team. I mean, obviously my Kirara is not leveled up, so it wouldn't really matter all that much, but... Bring up the 40. How about that? I actually have a lot of the materials to level her up, funny enough. I could I could get her up there. Huh? Are my tails getting longer too? I'll bring up a little bit. Maybe throw her into the team for the memes. I never got any of her constellations or anything. Too bad. Hmm. Interesting. I'm a grown man, I'm ten. You... You're not even supposed to be on YouTube, my dude. I'm pretty sure the minimum age is 13. Let's throw Kira in here for the memes. Anything you need delivered? Uh, do I have a better weapon for her? Other than Alley Flash? Probably not, right? I mean, I could just throw Black. I guess it really doesn't matter that much. Because, you know, it's not exactly pressing at the moment or anything. Yeah, this. 
We're using her to uh, fast travel. Kira unleveled. How dare you, Spring? She's so fun. I know she's she's good. She's relatively fu she's fun. I have some funny ideas for her. I just never got around to them. I ain't no YouTube kid. I mean, by the whole first and foremost, stop shouting. Secondly, I'm just talking about like the rules of YouTube. I'm not talking about like anything else. <sighs> Nothing good ever comes out of you addressing me like that. Ruh -ruh. Hey, look, it's it's Chevrolet. Oh? And I see the Traveler and Paimon are here, too. Yeah, we're here to commit arson. Shivers, we meet again. Has everything been going been well? fine on my end. We were able to bring in a large number of recruits thanks to that film we made. Uh, Kira's Ascension lines are funny AF. Mm. I'll level her up eventually. She is, gonna, she is on the list of characters. I want to level up everyone eventually, but, like... She's one of those ones I want to do, like, a video with eventually. I suppose the trade-off is that I'm now constantly getting stopped for autographs while out on patrol. Not ideal, if you ask me. Oops. Well, you were one of the YouTube kids ain't for kids. Now. The irony is staggering. I got a mind of an 18-year-old. I'm so strong and brave and humans. That's all for YouTube. First and foremost, you're still shouting. These new characters doesn't give vibes like the old characters do. Yeah. Oh, it's because they have more design going into them now. A lot of the older characters are far simpler, right? So, did something happen? Indeed it did. I'll need you to come with me. To be honest, Kirara probably has some good video potential for you if you like she's forgotten. She's good, right? Good shielder, <laughs> does some okay damage. From you. Usually I'm the one asking people to do that. Could do a, uh... I want to try to do some one-shots with her, actually. Well... Are you coming? Not before I know what you're planning. Arson. Have I ever made a bad call? The better question is, have you ever made one that didn't violate proper procedure? ruh -roh. Uh, when will the Pirate Nation come? Uh, after 4.8. Presumably. So, we're in 4.5, going into 6. Three-ish patches. Give or take. Like, our average is usually, it'd be, we go to the point eight patch, and then the next patch is the point oh. So many months left. Yeah, but we have a couple of good patches coming up. Next patch is going to be big. Because next patch comes with a, uh, a new story quest, and I believe a new boss fight. Because that's how it usually goes. The point six usually comes with a new boss fight. So, and Arlecchino, obviously, which everybody's hyped for. So, uh, I do believe there's some big stuff coming next patch, thankfully. Okay. A man hired a group of bandits to mug my friend. I'm about to go teach him a lesson. Are you sure this is something you should be telling the captain of the special patrol? It's getting hard to tell whether you're here to report a case or turn yourself in for one. Mm. Neither. I'm requesting personal supervision from said captain. So I don't do anything too out of line. She's literally grabbing Chevrolet to be all like, hold me back. I just need you to hold me back, okay? Are you planning to? Carlochino is DPS. Will you pull for her? I was initially planning on pulling for her, but now I'm leaning maybe not. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm, I'm on the fence right now. Well, speaking of... Ho speaking of Hoya women I'm excited about, hmm... But I'm currently on the fence with her right now because I I feel like she's going to be too popular and too good, and I think she might be a bit out of place for my channel content. I made that mistake with Nervalette, sadly, so I'm like I'm not I'm not sure I'm I'm feeling it. Also, my sister came into my room and said Navia is hot, and then left. I mean, she's not wrong. Not if I can help it. <sighs> All right, where is this person? Navia is Taylor Swift, and. And Tartaglia is Ed Sheeran. What's your point? Next patch better be good or I'll fly to China and punch the dev team myself. 42 days of nothing and beyond. Enough can't handle two de second dead patch. They're usually pretty good about that. We don't usually get double dead pa double filler patches. Not usually. It's unlikely. It's unusual. So. I pulled uh, Asheron and wow, I got her weapon on a 50-50 and one. Damn, congrats. Yeah, Lee can do it for all of us. The Fist of Justice. 110 wishes total. Damn. 
That's double the amount of wishes it took me to get uh, my Dia back in the day. Follow me. Follow me. Okay, let's go choose violence, chat. Uh, let's see how. Just promise you'll start trying to keep yourself out of trouble. Well, when trouble stops coming my way, I'll be sure to get on that. All right, let's go choose violence. Let's go. This should be the place. Usually stays at three point seven and three point eight. I'll go have a chat with him. Yeah, but. Well, actually, no. Because one of those patches actually, yeah, it was like an optional, like, non-story area. But it was a good area. Like, there was a good chunk of stuff to do there, so it wasn't too bad. Oh god, I feel another sneeze coming on one sec. Oh god. Oh god, so much sneezing. Hold on, my nose still attached? Yeah, I think I'm good. Good god. Thank you, Leakin. Tricks be going crazy. The she's not wrong though. Well, yeah. For Acro uh, Astro on her weapon, I was pretty pleased with myself. Yeah, congrats. Hope you make good use of it. You know, Chevras, I have the sense that you two are actually pretty close. Yeah, we already got that sense. Remember? It's just as Chiori said, we got to know each other pretty well in our lines of work. You could call it a "you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours" sort of situation. Mm -hmm. Does Chiori often need your help? Uh, I'd say it's mutual. The Special Patrol needs her help quite often as well. We've got tough problems of our own. Mm -hmm. Getting people to talk, for example. Yes, obviously, the police force often go to the fashion designers to assist in interrogations. This is, uh, this is canon, people? Point A patches are excellent, I agree with Spricks, especially because the story previews the Archon Quest for your patch after. Yeah, there's usually good stuff in them. Usually. The uniform, the musket, they're intimidating. Most people clam up the minute they see us. Lips sealed so tight, getting them to talk almost feels like trying to break into the fortress of Maripede. Mm -hmm. But put them in a clothing boutique, and they suddenly start gushing faster than the waters at the Fountain of Lucene. Huh. Oh, is it because they're trying to show off or something? Yep. People are vain creatures. They can't help but want to talk up new developments in their lives, or show off how much they know about other people. And nothing brings out that sort of vanity quite like fashion. Huh. As a result, okay. Chiori often picks up on all kinds of information in her shop. Hmm. Most of her customers are members of the upper class, which means they're pretty much up to the gills in wealth and intel. Oh. So she's an information broker. Okay. You scratch my back <gasps> she's the shadow broker. Huh. Hyman gets it now. Chiori is the shadow broker. Exactly. And if you've played, uh, sure anyone here who's played Mass Effect know what I'm talking about. Those who make trouble for her also tend to be rich and powerful. And in some very rare cases, I'm forced to protect other people from Chiori herself. Case in point. <sighs> so, who got on her case this time? It's been a while since I last saw her that angry. Oh, so this is what happened. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yep, not, yep. Not an agreement. Huh? Uter, you say? Uter. You heard of him? Yep. He's made trouble for Chiori several times already. Mm -hmm. He's fond of pretty much every dirty trick in the book. I heard that even the Maison Guardianage issued him a warning due to his behavior. Hmm. So he's back at it, huh? His funeral, I guess. Yep. Whoa, what's this about a funeral all of a sudden? Paimon, we're here to commit arson, remember? I just meant that Uter's done for. Now bring it in, you two. Get right up close. Uh, sure, but why? Bear me. That's cool. Because this is probably going to turn into one of those very rare cases I just talked about. <laughs> Man does not know where he is. What are you doing? I thought she was going to kick him. I, I honestly expected she was going to punch him in the head. Has anyone ever taught you the definition of stupidity? Ooh, thank you. You know what? I I like when they do these little vignette, like, picture things. I like these. Down to 5% boys. Like, 5% what? What? 
So I wasn't the only one that thought that. Yeah, no, apparently not. I was expecting a boot to the head. I was like, no, this is she's getting a goddamn punt. She's getting he's getting punted. Alright, catch you later, Leekin. Thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate you. Huh? 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 Stupidity huh? is doing the same meaningless thing over and over again. It appears you've forgotten what I told you before. So, allow me to refresh your memory. Lay off the dirty tricks. <coughs> oh, Lord. To oblivion. Lay your hands with my friend again. You can expect a far less pleasant landing next time. Hey, he, got, that's a, he got sent to oblivion. I think, uh, Azel, he was responding to me saying that uh, it looked like Chiori was going to kick the guy in the head. Ahem, Chiori. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice transition, actually. Good job. Uh, officer, an assault's in progress. Please, officer, you've got to do something. Of course. I'll do my utmost to investigate the situation. Unfortunately, I was chatting with this traveler and seemed to have missed what happened. Not to worry, though. If you'd allow me to search the scene, I'm sure I'll be able to collect some useful evidence. You don't mind, do you? There's nothing in there that would implicate you in any illegal activity, I would hope. I... God, forget it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, putting a hit out on someone, not a big deal. You know, it's fine. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's totally normal activity. Miss Chiori, I must also ask you to refrain from engaging in such disorderly conduct in the future. Especially out in the open like this. <sighs> Apologies, officer. I guess you could say I'm just used to tossing out any trash I come across on the street. You... Is there anything else... You put a hit out on someone, guy. Like, I have no sympathy for you, my dude. That's all from me. I sincerely hope that today's events will never happen again. We'll see about that. Oh my god. This guy is an idiot. What do you think's going to happen there, bud? Here's one of the violation. He said my name. But AO, AO, what? Oh, do you want what I mean when I say AO, AO? Oh, that's someone in the chat. Someone's name is AO. So whenever they join the chat, I always say, Ayo, Ayo. That's all. Whoa, that scared the heck out of Paimon. How did he just go flying out like that? Such incredible strength. Such graceful arc. You're too kind. Now's not the time to be accepting <laughs> What happened to not doing anything too out of line? Oh, not if I could help it, is what I said. It's true. And I started with a verbal warning, but he displayed neither shame nor remorse. If anything, he kept running his mouth with insults and threats. Insults and threats so bad that he deserved to be tossed out like a sack of trash? I think that was pretty light, all things considered. Believe it or not, they were that bad. He deserved to get knocked down a peg. It's the only way to get him to stop. Violence. Like I often say, violence is never the answer. Violence is the question, and the answer is yes. You could have reported him to the guards. Emotional damage! Oh, I will. But it'll take some time for them to gather evidence. And he denied that he ever had anything to do with those bandits. Mm hmm I don't want anything else to happen during Fontaine Fashion Week. On top of that, if Kirara is going to continue delivering goods for me... The least I can do is guarantee her safety. Strix is correct. Indeed. In all honesty, she was too nice for someone who put a hit out on someone. My point? Exactly! <sighs> Deep breath, Hazel. You're going to be alright. Oh, it's all good. Me. I'd suggest go finding a phone charger. Favor I'd like to ask of you today. Ooh, more favors. Hmm, what a shame. I believe you've already used up your favor quota for the day. Oh. Have I? Well, it's a good thing I was planning on taking an advance on tomorrow's quota then. Don't you think you're maxed out on advances already? Ruh -roh. I always pay you back in information, don't I? It's just like you said. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. How'd she know she said that? Alright, to the boutique we go. Mm, 
What's the fastest way back up there? I guess the fastest way up there would be just to walk up this wall, right? So you're questioning my religion? Oh, no. God, I love being able to do that. Well, don't mind it, Ao. There, because after all, this behavior is understandable. Yeah, exactly. We all did stu. We all we were all silly when we were younger. We just didn't have the platform. You were gone for an awfully long time. Oh, please tell me nothing bad happened. Only a little bit of arson. It was fine. Let's not bring up religion and stuff here. We're all part of the community despite all that. Exactly. Religion is one of those things where it's like, it's, it's very personal, right? For a lot of people. So it's like, you know, I just respect everyone's religion. It's like, you know, you have your, your beliefs, your religion, your way of life. You know, it's not my place to question, right? Or really anyone else's for that matter. Is Kirara's Burst Multiplier the most in the game? No, I believe the highest Burst Multiplier... I want to say it's Zhongli, but I have to double-check that one. Hers is one of the highest, though. It's up there. Technically, actually, if you want to get technical about it, the highest is, I believe, Lisa. If you want to be technical about it. There's nothing to worry about. All you need to know is that you'll never have to worry about someone in Fontaine messing with your deliveries again. I agree, Spix. I think religion is neat and choice to be unaffiliated since I respect them. Exactly. It's like, I, re I respect everyone's religion, so I just tend not to, like, you know. It's not a conversation I'm really, really comfortable getting into because it's, like, to each their own, right? Uh, For me, sorry, it's very personal. Chiori. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. Someone put a hit on you. Why are you apologizing? Kirara, chill. What are you talking about? Yeah. You didn't do anything wrong. Those greedy bandits are to blame, along with a certain someone who doesn't know when to lay off the petty tricks. I get putting a hit on someone is not a petty trick. That's murder. The next time you that's murder. We don't do that. That's illegal. Security and surveillance patrol. They'll escort you half of the way, and the Spina di Rasula can take the second half. Uh, when you guys say I'm different and dumb from you, oh, you're not dumb. No, 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 definitely not. You're, I don't think you're. I don't think you're dumb at all. And you're not even the only, like, younger person in the chat, right? Like, that's not, like, abnormal. We're just saying that, like, there's certain things that, like, you know, someone who's older will do, or how they will say something, versus how someone younger will say and see something. It's, uh, like, there are differences, but it's not, like, it's not looking down on someone. It's just that, you know, there's a bit of a separation, right? That's all. It's because I need to show a, a, a Heiko the Terror. I've, I've, he's seen Heiko before. They know each other. To some extent. You never call me a dum dum. No, of course I wouldn't call you a dum dum. I'm a dum dum. I am in fact the dum dum. With that sort of escort, the next time you make a delivery, those treasure hoarders won't go anywhere near your goods, <laughs> unless of course it's to offer to carry them for you. <laughs> uh, good one, Chiori. She's terrified, because she's like, I, she's just sitting there going, like, she killed them, didn't she? She, she has no idea. Lore-wise, she's just sitting, sitting here going, like, she's killed them. They're dead. Oh my god, what have I done? I'm being serious. You know me. If I bring something up, you can assume it's already a done deal. You're going back to Inazuma tomorrow, right? Not dumb, dumb, like, different from me. As human beings... We are all very different from one another, but we're also very much very similar in a lot of ways. It's just how people are, right? Nothing to think too hard about. We wouldn't do that here, rest assured. Exactly. Everyone's differences and similarities are generally welcomed. Feels like you're bullying. Oh no, dude. No, no, no. Don't Don't misunderstand. You're we're not trying to No one's trying to bully you here, man. Roll uh I'd like to believe that all of us are very welcoming here and open-minded. Yeah, no mental breakdowns in the chat. No, it's good. It's okay, man. It's all right. Azel, you're all right, man. It's all good. We made a truce, so we're all peaceful and we have differences. Exactly. That's the thing. People have differences sometimes. And, you know, disagreements. And that's okay. Wait, you don't mean... I've already spoken to the captain of the special patrol. 
As discussed, the patrol is going to take a small detour during their daily training tomorrow. As for Navia, I'll give her a heads up in a bit. Oh. There's really no need. I'm just a simple courier. I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of armed guards. Or ones with sunglasses, for that matter. Don't you think <laughs> this is a bit much? No. Well, you're getting an, oh, you're getting an entourage. Don't complain. A procession for every trip you make to Fontaine. It's just a one-off thing. For my own peace of mind. Oh, so we're all here just to chat, regardless of age, gender, or anything else. That's why we keep personal details anonymous. Exactly. Exactly. Also, there's a big difference on my percentage head, too. Go find yourself a charger, man. Go charge your phone before your phone, like, you know, yeets itself. It'll also show those guys what'll happen to those who dare to mess with my friends. Since you already talked to patrol, just think of it as a scratch my back, I'll scratch your type situation. Yes, well put. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think it's a good idea, Traveler, then I guess it's fine. Yeah, get yourself an entourage, it's cool. Well, with the bad guys out of the way and your goods safely delivered, mm -hmm. everything should be good to go for Fontaine Fashion Week, right? I believe so. I'll try to churn out a few more outfits over the next few days. I've heard a lot of suppliers will be participating this year. Gonna take a guess and say if suppliers are super important. Well, yeah, you don't exactly have a uh, product without suppliers. But of course, they supply us designers with funding, equipment, factory access. You have to work with them if you want to become a mm. truly renowned fashion house. Oh God, this is reminding me of college. Hey, the king, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Kira is higher than Zhongli. Zhongli's multiplier at thirteen is thousand twenty-four. Kira is already at thousand at ten. Okay. Still doesn't beat Lisa's. Lisa's is still the highest, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Lisa's burst, I believe, is still the highest in the game. Technically. Well, it was nice knowing you, Azel. So long, my friend. <laughs> also, I'm kind of dead because I got a bad grade. I hope my mom won't find it. Uh-oh. Does anyone here play Hawkeye Star Rail? I don't watch people that play it. How do your Akron polls go? You're on the banner. Uh, I haven't logged in since this patch, but uh, I do play Hawkeye Star Rail periodically, just not very often now. That's also too time consuming right now. So trying to run two gotcha, two Genshin accounts, and that it's too much. I did stream it for a hot minute, but it was very brief. No one likes watching it, unfortunately. But isn't your brand already really famous, Jury? Your clothes are so pretty and so nice to wear. I can't help but brag about them to my customers whenever I get the chance. We're in the bed. Okay, good call, good call. I got a 5 in physics out of 10. I mean, technically a pass, depending on how they grade, but that's uh, that's unfortunate, man. Even so, I would imagine there are still people who've never heard of the Chioria brand. Yes? Mm -hmm. Well... I mean, with the amount of places that I deliver to... It's only natural that some people from other nations haven't heard of it. Have you been to Natlan? Then it's still not famous enough. Tell me about Natlan. My goal is to make the Chioria brand renowned throughout all of Tabat. All of it? Your business would have to get pretty huge then. Yeah, you better have to start hiring some people to run some other shops then, hey, damn. Does that mean I could just go to oh. any Chioria branch on the continent to get my clothes okay. fixed? It has been pretty inconvenient having to come to Fontaine every time I need to get them patched up. Well, uh, that was Mama Spricks who just, like, barged in here. Didn't even... She didn't even say hi! Wow, that's so rude. All she did was deliver a uh, Kazumi. I didn't study, but my grades are good in general in other classes. I would definitely study if you don't know a subject all that well. Sorry, I'm distracted by my cat now. Alternatively, of course. You could hi, just Zoomie. be a bit more careful with Zoomie's right beside me now. They're already about as durable as I can make them. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, they do get snagged on branches pretty often, but I can't help it. It's hard to be careful about that sort of thing when you're trying to take a nice nap in a tree. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's your dream, Chiori, then we should do our best to make it a reality. Is there anything we can do to help out with Fashion Week? Oh, also, I want to look up something just so I can get an actual number, because you are talking about this a moment ago, and I, I want to have an actual number. Uh, Lisa, total burst ratio. Uh, 
Uh, 29. Hold on. Okay, so it ticks 29 times. Give me a sec. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. I just need the number. I just need the number. Attribute scaling. So at 13... Uh, okay. Alexa... 77 times 29. 77 times 29 is 2,233. 2,233 is Lisa's burst percentage. That's her burst ratio. It's over 2,000. Oh, you're not my controller. I reached over to grab my controller, and I'm just, like, patting around. I'm like, that's not my controller. I look over. Oh, that's my cat. It's a busy. Oh no, she's biting me. Oh no, she's killing me. May I have my hand back, please? Don't chew on me. Stop chewing on me. Hold on, she's chewing on my hand a little bit. Careful with the claws. You're st ow, ow, careful with the claws. Careful. You're okay. Cut that out. Okay, she wants to play a little bit, but I don't want to play. I don't want to get mauled right now. Sprix, you're saying her power level is over 2,000? It's over 2,000! Yes. Hmm. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm sure I could think of something. Ooh, what is it? What What's is your favorite it? version? What's your favorite version of it's over 9,000? My personal one, I don't know what version, what dub it's specifically from, but it's really weird. Because he just, he's holding the scouter, and he goes, What's the, what does the scouter say about his power level? And he goes, It's over 9,000! And then you like, grunts while he's crushing it. It's like this really over-enthusiastic grunt. It's so funny. Why don't you come to my shop tomorrow and model for me? Simply put, you'll serve as my living mannequins. That sounds creepy when you say it like that. Oh, so we get to try on some of your clothes? Got it! Ooh, do we get to see some Paimon outfits? That'll be great. Also, um, hold up. Does anyone here play the game, um... Oh, what the hell was that game called? Oh god. It was a it was a action it was like a survival horror game where a common enemy type was mannequin. They were human beings disguised as mannequins. So like a mannequin it would be like a room full of mannequins and some of them would just like be like a person in disguise. And I cannot remember what the game was called right now. But that's what it's reminding me of living mannequins. I'm like, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so, also, I deleted all social media other than YouTube, and I put a timer on YouTube so I can improve myself. Oh, you know what? That's good. Good luck. Thank you for hanging out, though. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a good one, and best of luck to you, man. Seekers and Hunters? No. It was, like, one word. It was, like, one or two words. I think it was one word. It was a one-word title. Condemned? I think it might have been Condemned. Seeing them off the rack will also give me the chance to make Something some like small that. adjustments to the stitching and the silhouette of the designs. I'll come later. Hey, if you if you if you come back later, you'll be welcome back with open arms. Sounds easy enough. Uh, can we keep the outfits? Most of the clothes you see during Fashion Week are meant to showcase the designer's vision. They're not exactly suitable for ready-to-wear use. No, I want to keep them. If you like them though? Feel free to visit the boutique and see if anything catches your eye. I'll even give you a special discount. Give me a Paimon outfit. That's what I want more than anything right now. Sounds great! Paimon was just starting to get curious about all this design stuff. Not gonna lie, it was like you were describing a horror game plot. It is a horror game! That's what I'm describing. <laughs> so yes, I am actually describing a horror game. When people say King for for a sec, I think they're speaking to me. Yeah, you're you're King J to me. Or J Squid. Then Even though you don't have J in your name anymore, which upsets me. Former wear traveler, and I don't know. Paimon here will show off some kids' designs. I'll see you both tomorrow then. All right, show me some Paimon outfits. Yeah, I want to see this. Hey, BRB making pizza. Oh hell yeah! What kind of pizza? Yeah, she's too tiny to be a little kid. Have you seen the nonsense people wear on the runway? I don't want that Paimon. No, not that. No, I don't want that. Uh, what do you guys have to say for yourselves? Speaking of clothes, do yours happen to need any mending right now, Kirara? <laughs> uh, well, since you asked, Chiori, there's this part around my waist. Oh, need a bit of letting out around the middle. No! 
It's a terror. Those bad guys did it. <laughs> Just normal cheese loaded veggie pizza. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> we have two Kiraras. There are two Kiraras. Okay, so wait until the next morning at 6 a.m. Okay, time to awkwardly stare at the boutique for several hours. So, can I actually go in the boutique? Oh, I can. <coughs> can you always go in the boutique? I don't think so. This is new. I think. Oh, no, I tried getting into... <coughs> Ow! Oh, sorry. Something caught my throat. I tried getting into Honkai Star Rail at first, but quit, and I think Acheron is going to pull me back to the game. I... I like the turn-based gameplay, but my problem with it is that it feels too automated after a certain point. It's too... It's not... It doesn't engage me enough, sadly, to really keep me hooked on top of that. On top of, like, the time uh, dedication it needs. Uh, you're here early. I haven't even opened the shop yet. You told me to be here early. Wait, has Kirara left already? Well, she was leaving the next day, so I would assume so. Yep, with the special patrol. Right and early. Also, do you play Honkai Star Rail? You only stream Genshin, I guess. Uh, I've tried streaming Star Rail. No one watches it. Straight up. No one watches the Star Rail streams. So it's like, I just kind of stopped doing them. And I, I play the game off and on right now. I don't play it that often. I've also tried streaming other games that I just, I just like. Like, I streamed a playthrough of Resident Evil 4 Remake... Uh, I streamed a Pokemon, most of a Pokemon Nuzlocke. I tried streaming Mega Man Battle Network, and it's just like, it falls off super fast. People are here for Genshin stuff. And I don't blame them, it's just the nature of it. Uh, every iteration of Raiden gets me, so I entirely understand. Mm -hmm. uh, is it good? I tried, but didn't understand the story, so I quit. I like it. If you like turn-based games, it's good. If you don't like turn-based RPGs, you're, you're not going to get into it. Oh yeah, I did stream a playthrough of Elden Ring as well. We did a Elden Ring run where I basically made a carbon copy of D. Luke. Good times. Go that was fun, actually. Home? I want to do another one. I want to do another Elden Ring run as the, as Kokomi. I want to do it, but I don't know if people want to watch it. I believe so. The video the sucked, and no one liked the video. It made me sad. The way they marched forward with Kirara in the center, <laughs> it was some sort of VIP. For the second leg, the Spina also came with a pretty large group, led by Navia herself. I love this. This image... What direction am I pointing at? This image is incredible. I love this. This makes me happy. This makes me incredibly happy, and I love it. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> Look at it! Look at the little tiny kitty box! She's going on a delivery! They took care to clear the path beforehand as well. Kirara won't so much as step on a single stray rock on her journey. I even heard that Navia decided out of the blue to make a batch of macarons as a going away gift for Kirara. Oh, that's nice. An excellent souvenir to remember Fontaine by. I'd Not say. only did she get a personal, like, entourage, she also got free snacks. What a deal. Sounds like Navia really got into it. The story is fun as she's, I think, the new area is saying that the story is about to get good. Yeah. No, the um, the storyline... I like the storyline, actually. Oh, and the music. Oh, God, the music is just, like, incredible. That's what gets me. A good soundtrack can hold me in a game for so long. My thoughts exactly. She even lamented the fact that she didn't have time mm -hmm. to prepare something even fancier. I'm pretty sure she can't wait for another escort opportunity to come her way. Yeah, like, straight up. Okay, here's a fun fact about me. About how much I value soundtracks in video games. I bought Tekken 7 because of one song. And that was the only reason. I don't even like Tekken that much, but I'm like, I have to have it for this song. And I actually got really into Tekken 7. I got my money's worth. But, like, God, I, I need... That song hooked me, though. Straight up. I have 169 plus wishes for Arlecchino at the moment. So she's guaranteed at least, but I was really hoping for her weapon. I mean, without having to swipe, I think you're, uh... 
You're looking a little, uh, a little, a little light. How can I learn about Genshin lore? Is there a Genshin manga too? Yes, there is actually a Genshin manga. Uh, the Genshin manga, uh, I don't know what it's actually called, but, uh, I guess it's technically a, not a manhwa. What's the Chinese one called? You can find it online, though. You can actually, uh, you can actually find it online. Because I know one of its big story arcs was all about the Doctor and um, Kale, which was really good. It's a good read. So it gives like a lot of uh, backstory to a lot of the more common characters. And other than that, like I mean, a lot of the lore for characters outside of like the in-game quests and stuff, it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of going through their actual character bios, which you unlock just by getting friendship with them. But the the manga is good though. The manga is very good. You are actually pretty similar. You say what you mean, and when you have an idea, you really hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's why we're such good friends. Navia has a certain resilience about her. It's part of who she is. No matter what comes her way, she never bows down to the face of adversity. That sort of determination and courage is something I really admire. Uh, I believe there's a few different ones. I think I'm not sure how they structure it, honestly. But I think each manga might be, like, its own standalone storyline within the Genshin Impact universe. Like, the one that I know is really, really good is the Kale one. Because it's about how Kale and Amber met. And that is an incredibly good story that explains, like, the Harbingers it touches on. It explains the Doctor. Um, it talks about... Like, how Elazar was a thing, and, like, Mondstadt, and the Knights of Favonius. Like, there's so much stuff in it that happens, it's all really good. And, it, like, it builds up, it builds on a lot of, like, characters from the early game. Like, you get a lot of Kaya lore, you get some, you get a little bit of Gene backstory, you get a lot of, you get, like, a lot of Kale, and, um, <coughs> and a lot of, uh, Amber. It's quite good, though. I, I, I would generally recommend it. Flea had a voice line where she said she saw a masked guy in Dragon Spine and gave him a bomb. And he got angry, and the mountain started shaking, and Jean came and took her home. Jean was also terrified. Yep. Yeah, but Klee has had run ins with uh, Harbingers in the past. Now, the thing is with Klee is that Klee's scary. Klee, Klee is very, very scary. Also, the fact that someone was all like, looked at this small child and said, let's give her fire magic. And the universe was all like, why would you do that? Why did you do this? Anyway, let's keep, let's keep going. Spirit is the true vision of my brand. When she first brand. mentioned my brand. an outfit from my boutique, well, I'm sure you can imagine my excitement. I don't think I can imagine your excitement, actually. It's like finding the perfect brand ambassador, huh? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Customers pay attention not just to the clothes, but also to the figures in society who wear said clothes. Right. People like to copy the styles of those they look up to. That is true. That's why why on the red carpet they always ask, who are you wearing? What's for the clothes to look cute? I want Kazu so much. He's so good. Genshin is a very different, interesting story, but they're not making anything good and make goofy quests that make us clean dust and stuff. Um, the Archon quests have all been... I would say that pretty much all the Archon quests are solid, uh, barring Inazuma, which isn't bad. is isn't a bad story. <coughs> it's a badly paced story. So the Archon quests are good. The character story quests are generally okay. And other than that, though, I mean, like, a lot of the side quests are a lot of just, like, world stuff, right? It's just, like, random NPCs. Honestly, it's structured like a shounen anime. You know, you get, like, your really emotional, well-written, sometimes really good story with a bunch of little filler things that are just meant for laughs. Which is fine. Like, I, I, I think it's inoffensive. Fashion is about more than just looks, my dear. Yes, it's all it's about the politics. You've got your sights set on a market the size of that. Mm. Well, 
Would you look at the time? Would you look at the time? Uh, it's uh five past twelve. Yes. Indeed. Give me a moment while I go retrieve some fabrics and sample outfits. I want to see Paimon in little outfits. Carefully organize the ready-to-wear clothes with an eye toward their types and styles. This way, we can guarantee that the. I swear to God, if you black screen white text me of you try on clothes, I'm going to throw my controller. Oh yeah, uh, Squid brings up a good one. Narcissus and Cruz. Narcissus and Cruz is a really good storyline. Do you know about the story of that boy? Of the dead island on Inazuma, the island full of spirits and the dark wolf. Yep, I did that one. I like that one too, actually. That one was pretty good. How, like, you'd keep going back to the island, but, like, it would basically Groundhog Day itself to the previous day. It was literally Groundhog Day, but more depressing. Somehow it was just more depressing than Groundhog Day. If you know that movie. If you don't know that movie, do recommend, actually. It's quite good. Yes, Paimon. Well then, I'll leave the displays to you. Alright. Apparently you're leaving it to yourself because I'm using Shira. Sure. just need to put all the clothes with similar styles together, right? Formal men, women's formal, Inazuma kimono. Okay. Uh, this would be men's formal, and this is, of course, women's formal. I understand fashion, I think. Not bad. You might just have an eye for design. Hey, Miku, welcome to the stream. How's it going? I hate the stupid shrine quest in Azuma. I needed a guide for it. Dun dun. Oops. Uh, what was the story of that island? Everyone we saw on the island was a ghost, except that boy. The boy was a ghost too. Uh, basically, it was it was Groundhog Day. If you, I guess, if you've seen the movie Groundhog Day, that's what it was. But basically, the island was basically left behind on that island was residue from essentially a demigod more or less it was like the god of the island which was just like a really powerful like a powerful being and basically the day the island went to hell and everyone was killed on like everything went bad the island was just reliving that day over and over again until you stepped in and eventually broke the loop and and set everything back to normal. Still don't like bald spree. I'm not even bald. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Aiko, welcome to the stream. And Mohan, how's it going? Music compilator, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Cause if I remember right, it was essentially the bird. It was like the bird demigod that was like dreaming the island up still. And you had to put it, you're basically putting it to rest. I may have 76 primos and 16 fades. That's a that's a few primos. That's quite a bit actually. Not bad. Anyway, let's move on to the real task. Yes, ahead. little Paimon outfits. Let's go. Here, We're playing so dress up. So. I'll take your measurements first. Yes. No, do not you don't. No, don't interrupt me. No. No. Oh, good morning, Lian. How have you been? Recently? No. Throw her out! Remove her! You won't you dare take this away from me! Hey Midnight Ninja, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How did everyone get unalive? Did those dark wolves attack and took out the island? Uh the the bird went nuclear. If I remember if I remember correctly, the bird went nuclear. That's why the uh the bird is on the other island now, but basically the the ritual went to hell. And the bird went nuclear. Bruh, how you doing? I'm doing alright. The bird indeed did indeed go nuclear. That's what I thought. Like, basically, the, the bird nuked the island. They got microwaved. Literally microwaved. It was bad. Ritual went wrong and... Pfft, and that was it. That was that. Your gown will be ready next week, so there's no need to worry about missing the ball. Or did you come here today because you'd like to make a new request, perhaps? Oh, mm -hmm. no. What's Nothing the like issue? That, to be honest, I came here today to cancel my order for that gown. Oh. Uh, cancel your order. You can't do that. That's illegal. Uh, but you can keep the 
deposit, of course. I know you can't return any materials you've already used. Don't worry about the materials. I'm more concerned about you. Did something happen, Leanne? Have your plans changed? Um... It's all right. I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I'll take note of the cancellation. Thank you. I'm hmm. really sorry. How very suspect. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Probably more underhanded tricks from Uter. Is it just you looking smart today? Oh, thank you. It's 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 the uh, it's the new uh Wonder why the new she beard, right? Why she was canceling her order. Very curious. It's not a big deal. These things happen every once in a while. What do you mean nuclear self-destruct? Uh, sort of. Uh, like I said, more like a microwave. The the bird went full electric and just kind of cooked the island. Because like they were doing that like ritual for I don't remember the details, but they're doing the ritual. Something went wrong with the ritual, which caused the bird to basically cook the island. Rotisserie chicken, yeah. Again, this is thinking back quite a few years now, because I did that quest when it was new, right? So that was a long time ago now. A mem my memory is awkward. If I remember something, I usually remember it, like, right on, or it's just not there at all. So there's a lot of holes. Judging from the look on her face, something's keeping her from revealing the truth to us. It's best not to pry. Mm. Well, guess this means you'll have more time to work on Fashion Week, right? That's true. Come, let's pick up where we left if off. If anyone else interrupts this moment, I'm gonna be mad. No! Is Kill him! In? Kill him! Then where did the bird go? The giant serpent that Raiden unalived, was that the Electro Dragon? No, the serpent was the basically the demigod that ran Watatsumi. And it became privy to a very piece of forbidden knowledge. Like a very piece, a very forbidden piece of knowledge, and it needed to be removed. And I think it was the Heavenly Principles making that call. I don't think that was Raiden making the call. Or it went berserk because it was just like, I can't believe this is true. But it wasn't the dragon, it was just a serpent. And the bird is actually on the other, off the Peyton Path island of, of uh, Inazuma. Do you remember the bird that you farm for... Um, Raiden Shogun. It's that bird. That's the one. Call the bailiff on him. Is yes, I'm going to call the bailiff on this guy. Uh, they do ritual to bird and unalive one human the bird likes. The bird discovers the child's unalive state and essentially does the electro explosion that ended the island. Thank you. That was the thing. The kid, I believe the kid... Who we see, the one that you're doing the quest for the whole time, is the kid they unalive. Is the kid they sacrificed. They basically were going to sacrifice the kid to the bird, and then they found out that they did that, and the bird was like, how, how dare you? And then cooked. Yeah, it used to be more like a regular bird until it was, like, full electric. I think that's how it's supposed to be. That's what it's implied, at least. But it is an electro bird, yes. It is the same thing. I am. How can I help you? I'd like to cancel my order, please. Um, I'd like to return this item. Oh. Could I ask why? It's just, um, not to my liking. You said I could get a refund if I wasn't satisfied, so that's why I'm here. I wanted my tiny Paimon outfits, and I'm having this taken away from me. I'm going to, I'm going to rip someone apart. Is there something about it that didn't meet your expectations? Are the sleeves too short, or is the color too dark? I can always make those adjustments for you. No, no need. You don't have to concern yourself with that. I'd just like that refund, please. And I'd be happy to process that for you. If you could just tell me the cause of your dissatisfaction. Is Kiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. Another one? No! Is there some sort of new calamity coming that I haven't heard about? Another flood? Or an apocalypse, maybe? What does the prophecy say this time? You'll be spared if you get rid of all your clothes? Surely the entire population of Fontaine didn't convene and pick this one day to come and return my clothes. What is going on? Uh, what kind of oh rags are you trying to sell us, huh? The way I see it, this shop is nothing more than a black market front run by a bunch of dirty criminals. What? Please calm down, sir. 
Uh, what is he talking about? Haven't you heard? Chioria Boutique has been exposed for having close ties with criminals. It's all over the papers. And just who is it that dares to throw that accusation around? Well, you Uter. tell us. The fabrics you've got here, they're all sourced from underground factories, aren't they? I've been transparent about my materials from the very beginning. I've already proved there's nothing wrong with them. If a little hearsay and baseless slander are enough to convince you, then by all means, go ahead and hand over your garments right now. Spare yourself from that flood of yours. Or have you not been convinced of that one just yet? You... Wow. This is taking a turn. Hey, AJ, welcome back. Also, why did Zhang Li unalive several gods of Leo Wei? Those gods also followers. Were they evil? Um, now, that's something we don't know, actually. We don't know the details of that. That's the Archon War. And the Archon War is a very big blank spot in the lore right now. We haven't gotten all the details on that one yet, Ashish. Is that, like, there's a lot of stuff that happened there, and we are not privy to it yet. We're going to get that stuff eventually, but I'm imagining that's going to be closer to the end of the game, because that's probably, like, or the end of the main story, because that's, like, a really, really big, like, lore point. Uh, as far as some of the other gods during that time, uh, Zhongli didn't even take them out. Some of them just, it was other other gods, their own followers. It was a whole thing. Like the god of salt, for example, got taken out by her own followers. Off. Miss Tiori? Go outside and help these customers with their return requests. There's no need to ask them why. We'll refund them at the purchase price. Uh, alright. And once you're done, put up the sign that says we're closed for the day. Got it. Hmm. <laughs> Chiori. Yeah, I wish I wish both of you guys luck on your Arla your cappuccinos. They Ooh. couldn't be more fabricated if you tried. No need to worry about them. I'm sure they'll go away on their own in a few days. I'm not so sure about that one. The real goal here is to divert my attention away from Fashion Week. The best response right now is to tune it out and focus on finalizing my designs. Do we get our outfits or not? If you say so, but Paimon still can't help but worry. Every god's, uh, unalive each other. Why, I just thought that they slash all gods fought with, uh, Conria and their wolves and robots. Well, that's the thing. There was two major incidents in the lore when it came to debt with the gods of Teva and everything going on. There was the Archon War, which was 5,000 years before the game takes place where the the seven archons were chosen and they were all fighting for the spot of the seven archons so zhongli was fighting for his spot as archon and then there's the 500 years before the story which is the conria incident where everything went to shit and both of those two incidents we don't have a lot of information on yet uh there are many things i want to know i don't know what to do where to learn about lore how do you know um, I've gotten mine from reading a lot of side content, like reading, uh, the character backstories, uh, reading the books in-game, actually. A lot of them have some interesting intel. If you want to do in-game stuff, Ankonomia books. The books of Ankonomia have a lot of interesting information in it that, like, puts things into question. I also recommend a couple of, uh, uh lore YouTubers. I don't know a lot of the names off the top of my head. Maybe someone in the chat can help me out with this, but... There's a number of uh, lore experts on like experts on Genshin lore who do videos on YouTube that help summarize the stuff. They have theories and other stuff like that. They kind of like help condense all this stuff. And I've, I've watched some of those, which help out quite a bit. The best way to respond to public skepticism is to let your work speak for itself. Mm -hmm. There will be no doubt about the quality of my work once my new designs are released. The public just has to see it for themselves. Yeah, Ashi Kai is a good theorist. That's what that's a place you could start. But yeah, a lot of them it is is going to be theorizing, and then but they're like a lot of them use like in-game items and information to come up with their theories. But it's it's still very interesting. What's the story of the underground island of Watatsumi? What was the abyss doing there, and why was there a human? Oh, you mean um, Ankonomia? Uh, Ankonomia was basically. Uh, the home of the people of Watatsumi before they left. And there is so much to go over in Ankonomiya. 
Like, Ankonomia was basically a lot of, like, proto-humans, I guess you could say. Like, very early pre... They're pre-Archon. Like, they're, they're pre-Archons. Hold on one second. It's kind of dark in my room. Actually, no, it's, it's not. It's fine. It looks dark. My camera looks fine, but it feels dark in my room, which is kind of funny. But yeah, Ankonomia is... A lot of stuff in there. There's way too much for me to go for in one stream, I think. Without me having to stop and do a lot of research real quick, because I don't remember all of it. Miss Yuri, bad news. Uh-oh. Oh, for the love of... Can a woman not get a moment of pace to do her work? Go on. What's the matter now? Okay, we don't get our little Paimon outfit, I'm mad. It's our accessories supplier. They just sent word that they'll no longer be able to supply us during Fashion Week. What? Uh, no accessories? Not even the ones we pre-ordered? Yes, that's what their messenger said. And what about the models we asked them to book for us? I think they'll probably pull out as well. Okay, so we're gonna go kill Uter, right? Even the suppliers believe those nasty rumors? Also, Genshin theories are so popular, even MatPat made one. Damn. Also, it has dark lore. Quest was uh, quite small, I guess, because a lot of the lore, like the really big implication lore, wasn't in the quest. That's the interesting part. A lot of it was part of a side quest. It was a series of side quests that give you a bunch of information, and one of the side quests will eventually lead you into a mirror that you can walk through that has a number of hidden books that you can find, including the book that the serpent read that made Raiden Shogun have to kill it. So, yeah, there's a there's a lot of interesting stuff in Ankonomia, but it's hidden. It's secret. It's full of secrets. And yes, it is very dark. It's good. It's very interesting though. I liked Ankonomia. I loved Ankonomia so much for that. Is the messenger It's very Dark Souls here? lore. It's very Dark Souls-esque. No, they've already left. So, no accessories means no brooches, no bow ties, things like that. We're gonna get a little bow tie for a Paimon. I'm mad. Not just that. It means no gems, ribbons, gold thread. All the elements that lend life and soul to my designs. But if you take those away, does that mean you won't be able to make your designs at all? Aloth, you stay and watch the shop. I'll go talk to the supplier myself. Yeah, we'll go with you. I want some I want some information. We'll make sure your supplier knows there's Yeah, go enjoy your lurker thing. Also, you don't have to be on two accounts, man. It's not uh it's not good. Thank you. In that case, please come with me. I mean, I remember there was this one quest in Anka where you had to visit the different graves of children. Yep. Uh, each child was a, uh, a different leader at one point because their whole rule set was the leaders of Ankonomia were all children. But they were all, like, with, they all stood with, um, like, advisors behind them, and the advisors were all awful people. Tainari story quest. That one was dark. Yep. That was sad. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go commit a murder. I mean, let's go talk to him. I feel like half this, half of Chiori's like lore so far has been her going places, like loading a shotgun and just being. I just want to talk to him. I'm. J I'm just gonna talk to him. And it's like, oh god, she's gonna kill a guy. Of course. We're just gonna talk to <laughs> I would do anything to one of my business partners. Especially when a reasonable conversation should suffice. I just wanna talk to him. That's I, I just wanna talk to him. That's fine. Venti's story was sad. Yeah. There's a lot of sad stories. Who is it? Venger, it's Chiori. <sighs> We've worked together all these years. The least you could do is allow me a face-to-face -face conversation. <laughs> Straightforward as always, I see. You know, there are certain conventions people usually follow if they want to seek someone's company. Sending a messenger, for example. I just want to talk to him, said with, she said with murderous intent. Indeed. So are these Archons good or bad? The seem to have not done good things. Honestly, we don't know. 
That's the thing. We're in a very interesting place in the storyline right now where we don't actually know. We're like, it's like, hmm, are they good or are they bad? Were they good? Were they bad? Like, there's a lot of gray and we don't have those answers yet because it seems like that maybe they're not so good. But then when you start meeting them, you're like, hmm, maybe they are good. Hold on. What's going on? That's the that's where the intrigue comes in. That's where I that's what's got me hooked right now because it's like, well, I want to know. And Dark stories and gray morals, exactly. Anywhere, why hire a messenger when I can just explain things in person? Hmm. Have you read the papers today? I don't like to waste my time on baseless lies and speculation. Maybe that's something you should consider as well. You're right. I only subscribe to the Steam. And most days, I never even read the others. So, these rumors. The Steambird was the one that published them? No, not at all. They were in some second-rate fashion tabloids. Interesting. Well then, there you go. Those sort of headlines become old news faster than you can read them. Surely a bit of tabloid drama isn't worth cutting off my supply. Hey, Kakarot, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Or I guess welcome back, because I think you. I think I saw you earlier. Maybe I do not remember. Well, if you see the gods did to Conry and the people curse them with immortality to become Hillatrils... Yeah, I know. It's like, hmm, something happened here that's not so good. Oh, yeah, the, the Hydro Archon. You know, with Fontaine's story. That raises even more questions. Were the gods unaliving each other in a war for, like, power to become Archon? Or maybe they were forced to unalive each other? That's the question, right? That's another question. Is that... Did they want to vie for... Was it just a, a power play? Was it just vying for power? Or was there more going on here? Like, we don't know. It seems like they were forced to, in some cases. <sighs> you would think that. But this time is different. Why is it different? Someone paid off the tabloids to publish the same article at once. They even went so far as to leave a copy in front of every house. That's how I first learned of the rumors. Every house? That means someone must have been planning this for a very long time. So we're gonna go murder Uter, right? It seems your rival really pulled out all the stops this time, Shiori. The article was even published alongside a photo of you. What sort of photo? Uh, a photo of you beating up someone on the street yesterday. Yesterday? Wait, that means... Ugh, Uter again. Here. I've got a copy. See for yourselves. <clears throat> I am all out of caffeine. Sag. Oh, oh, God, that's long. Okay, hold on. I just gotta reach over here. I need my carbonated water. I have a powerful need. It seems very out of Venti to kill, especially since he didn't kill in the Arkham War, but instead raised an army to help him fight. Yeah. That's more on brand for him, because that's how many of them fought. They had followers, right? Or Tris Mechanique Denelis Cardinal. All gods fought to become Archon. I don't know if old Nahida and Furina fought anyone. That's the thing. We don't know. We don't know the details. And yeah, it's uh it's lime flavored carbonated water. Or as some people like to call it, static water. Or sparkling water. Oh, the bot did not work. I don't know. Disabled sounds during quest whoops. I actually didn't disable it. It should actually be working right now. Weird. Did you spell Oratrice right? <clears throat> Gioria Poutique, located within our good Court of Fontaine, claims to be a clothing store with a unique style. But there is another side to this tale. For those few who look beneath that facade. Sources in Fontaine of Mirap in the fortress of Mirapide say they not According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. That a few criminals have boasted of wearing Chioria Boutique's clothes. I just felt that the atmosphere in here there suited me. Convicted felon Lyle said. These words met with wide approval from many of his fellow inmates. Our sources also stated that a prisoner who was recently convicted of violent conduct and battery also openly supported Chiori's designs a year ago. 
Upon close investigation of Chioria's many suppliers, we discovered that there is something more to the discovery uh, that criminals favor its wares. The boutique, in truth, comparable to an invisible hand, like a spider web that connects, connects to these evildoers. Our investigations show that the Wenger family supplies the ornaments that adorn the designs, and a certain member of this household is a frequent guest to the fortress. But do birds of a feather not flock together? <clears throat> not only that, but many customers have also been subject to rough treatment at Chiori. Chioria. Mr. Valerian had this to say. A real brute, that one. Never mind refusing to tailor my clothes. Why, she seized her scissors and began wrecking them. And threw me out the window. A clothing store? More like a thief's lair, if you ask me. Doubtless, many of you have wondered why the glass at Chioria Boutique is often shattered with a loud crash, leaving behind a terrifying mess. Mr. Valerian's unfortunate encounter unveils the truth. Just the day before this report was going to print, another such act of brutal battery occurred on the streets. Just imagine, if you would, the scene playing out as depicted in the photo above. Chiori, her con counterance, terrifying as she grabs her competitor, Mr. Uter, by the scruff, making threatening gestures towards him. The incident was ultimately broken up by guards who reached the scene. When we asked criminals why they appreciated the brand, the answer we received was that Chioria employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to evildoers among us that wrongdoing can still prevail, provided you can conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. Perhaps those who purchase clothes from this establishment may, following this establishment's philosophy, prefer to liquidate those with whom they have disagreements. If Chioria Boutique, indeed, a place blindly flattered by fashionistas that keep an exclusive clientele of crooks. More at 11. How was that, chat? Behind the scenes, the true Chioria Boutique takes shape. Not a fashion house, but a house of lies. They said my thing! They stole my catchphrase! What the hell? They stole my catchphrase! How dare you turn this into a house of lies! Those bastards! I'm gonna... Should we sue? We should sue. Anyway, let me catch up on the chat. Also, my drink is, uh, it's not, it's, it's water that's been carbonated. It's not, there's no sugar in anything, so it's not really a soda. It's more like a light flavor of lime. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. They've turned this into a house of lies. Relying on its close ties to the <sighs> underworld. I'm upset. I'm so mad. employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top. Giving hope to the evildoers among us that wrongdoing can still prevail, provided you can... <sighs> Where you read that? I don't know what happened, and I don't want to comment on things that I didn't see with my own eyes. Still, that photo shows you to be the clear aggressor. He literally, literally put a hit on someone. Yeah, he was the one who started it, that little... I appreciate you standing up for me, Paimon, but it can't be helped now. That's right. The court of public opinion has already made up its mind. Still, I've got to give your rival high marks for effort. They even dug up the fact that my father once served time in the fortress of Meripede. Well, they, you think he would be more angry, too, because he's getting slandered, too, and that's not even fair. Yeah, they're but that old. was so long ago. Zhongli is a grandpa. In the world of fashion, your past is like a piece of clothing stained with mud. Once tainted, it can never be washed clean. That's not even true, though. That's literally not even true. You can absolutely get mud out of a piece of clothing if you actually use the right ingredients. This guy is absolutely high. They claim that most of your clientele are criminals and that those who buy your clothes are just like you. People who silence all dissent with violence. The absurdity. I don't even know which part to laugh at the most. Well, it's no laughing matter. Maybe your clientele are criminals. Maybe they're not. There's even the possibility that they're just people who happen to commit crimes after buying your clothes. Mm -hmm. 
but with the way this article combines fact with rumor. Yeah, it's. Uh, I believe. Uh, I believe that's accurate, though. That uh, they've said that someone has stated that Zhang Li is old AF. It's not something people are just going to forget about in a day or two, especially when they've found several people to back up their claims. Venger, are you sure you won't reconsider? If we go through with the show together, we can defeat them fair and square. <laughs> If I were younger, I might have said yes. But I'm no longer that brave young man with nothing to lose. I've got the family business to consider now. I'd be perfectly happy to work with you again after this. But my daughter is manning the store during Fashion Week. And I don't want her implicated in all of this. She doesn't deserve to be swarmed by all that negative publicity. On one hand, you make a fair point, but also you suck. I understand. Ganyu is older than Venti. Venti is 2600, and Ganyu is around 3000, approximately. Yeah. So, Conria attack took place after the God War? Yes, significantly. Uh, the Conria War was only about 500 years before the story started. Before the story of the game starts. Let me offer you a piece of advice, Chiori. For old time's sake. Let this fashion week go. There's always next year. You just need to wait for all of this to blow over. You're free to wait things out, Fenger. I'll make my own choices. <laughs> Have you ever thought maybe that attitude of yours is what's gotten you into all this trouble? No, what's gotten her all into this trouble is literally, like, an asshole. I don't know what you're talking Have about. Have you ever thought maybe this attitude of mine is precisely what paved the way for my success? So only these seven Archons attack Conria. Well, maybe. We don't know how the... Actually, I guess in hindsight, we don't really know the full extent of it, but we assume it was only just the seven. Well, fair enough. Then... I suppose all there's left to say is, best of luck. As for the, the models, seven archons defended them. None of them wanted to. Hey, Gimliano, welcome to the stream. How's it going? How's life treating you today? You like the uh, you like the new look? Understood. Take care. Oh yeah, no, Nahida's predecessor did not fight in Conria. She couldn't. She wasn't there. Uh, Aiko is correct. You trimmed a bit much, didn't you? Well, yeah. I, uh, I, I did something, I did something a little different with it. What was the story about Sumira, uh, Sumera, Nahida god, one of the other desert god? Um, okay, so that one was basically, um, a lot of misinformation. Basically, god discovers forbidden knowledge, tries to seal away forbidden knowledge, is unable to do so, so, you know, is eventually destroyed to prevent its spreading, but unfortunately, Ruka Devada, the old Archon, was tainted with said forbidden knowledge, so, you know, had to get removed from everyone's memories, etc., etc. It was a whole thing. So, um, what should we do now? We should, uh, I, I, I'm telling you, we go back to the original plan, we commit arson. Without the accessories, I can no longer use my old designs. Should stick the beard back on. Really, Gim? I thought you were of the mind of, uh, you preferred, uh, someone with a, a cleaner look. About as clean as it gets. This is about as clean as it gets for me. Votes for committing arson. True. Yeah, <laughs> was fighting what seems to be Sino's predecessor. Uh, well, they weren't actually fighting. Not really. They were working together at one point. They teamed up to stop Can the forbidden knowledge. The boutique doesn't have anything to do with violent criminals. Can't people tell this is just a bunch of lies? Man, this story is so real. Public opinion has never been about what's true and what's not. It's about echoing the loudest voice in the room. Well, yeah, this is well kept, though. It's not like I got rid of the beard. It's still here. It's just very short now. It's just like a nice goatee now. This is, this is what trim... This is like a proper, like, you know... This is actually like proper. I think this looks great. Hey, congrats, She's Squid. From the beginning, Uter knows me too well. Everything that happened yesterday was just a trap. So the heavenly principles and archons are trying to hide that forbidden knowledge. No, no, probably, but not directly. Uh, that was a Ruka Devada thing exclusively. The forbidden knowledge was like very, very Sumeru focused. That's why Ruka Devada was not involved in Conria. Because she had to deal with that. It does look great. It's just so bare. Well, yeah. 
Don't worry, I'll grow back in a couple days. <laughs> well, guess all we can do is just head back for now. And we go commit arson. I'm telling you, we just set the dude's house on fire and we're done with it. Oh, hello. Traveler, Paimon! Man, everyone's getting in on this story quest, huh? Charlotte, what are you doing here? Are you here for more lore? Looking for you, of course. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? Yeah, they're nonsense. You mean that sorry excuse for an article? Oh, just thinking about it makes Paimon's blood boil. Uh, Destra, Ruka Devada, and Goddess of Flowers were buddies, and Destra was so powerful, Celestia gave him a Gnosis in the Archon War. Inter I didn't know that, actually. Hey, Afro Mage, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. The Heavenly Principle is like a dictator. She wants to control over everything. She attacked Conria because they were becoming so advanced and they were a threat to the division of the Supreme God. Potentially! That's a good theory. That's actually a really good theory. I don't think that's confirmed in any way, but that's a very good theory. I think that's one of the more popular ones. Hey, welcome back, Ray. A lot of lore talk while we're doing Chiori's quest. You too, huh? Uh, the theory is the reason why Ruka Devada didn't join Conria stuff is because the door to Conria is in Sumu, so she was making sure nobody got out. That's also possible. Yeah, you can actually find the door to Conria, which is interesting. It's located in Sumeru, which is, ooh, it's kind of spooky. Whoever wrote that article must have known the Steambird would never print something so defamatory. Unfortunately, not all papers in Fontaine share our same sense of journalistic integrity. Also, she destroyed the civilization in Dragonspine, I guess. No, that was um, Albedo's brother. I believe Albedo's brother did that. Oh, that was Venti? No, it wasn't Venti. Dragonspine wasn't Venti. I'm pretty sure that was Albedo's brother, wasn't it? I thought Venti was uh, Dada Upa. Like Dada Upa Gorge. Yeah, it was Durin. Where's Conry? Yeah, it's underground. It's underneath Sumeru. There's, um... The ca the entrance is deep underground near, um... You know that new... The last area they added? The one that's closest to Fontaine? It's underground there. Cleave the mountain or something. I don't think... I think that was Dada Upa, wasn't it? Before That's, like, back when it was Dada Upa Mountain. Chiori doesn't deserve to suffer all this baseless slander. I was just about to find some people that Yeah, something something Venti wanted people to be free to do what they claims. want and not be snowed on. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who misrepresent and distort the facts. I'm with you on this one, Charlotte. Hundred percent. With your help, we might be able to get some people back on our side. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. I've met Miss Chiori several times. I know she's not the kind of person that article makes her out to be. She was the one who made the hat and tie for my camera, Monsieur huh. Verite. Huh. Speaking of Miss Chiori, that's funny. Do you know where she went? Alof told me you were all together. Uh, she was just here. Uh, maybe she went over there. Let's go check. Yeah, there's a few. Uh, how many nails have we found? Is it just the two nails so far? Or is there any other ones that I'm like rem misremembering? Oh, she means Monstat. She means Monstat the city. She, for some reason, can't spell Monstat, so she puts in Monsanto. Don't worry, Ashis. Don't uh, don't worry about that one. She means Monstat. She wanted to stop uh, Monstat from being if frozen over. Me, I think Chioria Boutique is done for. Hmm. I mean, what did they expect? Engaging with criminals behind their customers' backs. Right, you, don't, you guard them. You take care of them. They kept up a solid front, though. I've even bought from them before. Really? How was it? The owner was plenty fierce, that's for sure. Makes sense if she regularly deals with criminals, I guess. I've got the chills take care of that thinking one. about it. <laughs> There are nails in Dragon Spine, bottom of the chasm. I swear there's no yeah, that's the thing. I remember there's I, for some reason I think there's another somewhere, but I don't remember where. Oh, no, I'm hungry. We've lost her. Yeah, let's bring them onto 
the chasm than the other one. I believe it's because they were closer to the primordial one, and according to theory, primordial one is no longer. Apparently. There's only two? Okay. We know there was a nail in Ankonomia, right? Wasn't that their punishment? Oh, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of? Well, since there's someone posing as the primordial one, yet taking away all the evidence of the past civilizations to hide evidence, maybe. The case is the place that got destroyed as punishment by Celestia, right? Most likely. I, I'm not 100% on that one. Did you hear what all those people were saying? Paimon oh, can't believe they bought all that nonsense! Yeah, welcome to tabloids, where someone reads something in a tabloid and it's automatically true. God, it's just like real life. Miss Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot Actually, of interviews. Actually, I googled it. Okay. So the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. Yeah, I was just like, I don't, I don't know, because I have not done the appropriate research to say for sure, but I trust the research. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little extreme sometimes. Yes. It's easy to use that to mislead people who don't know anything else about her. The way Layla is also a goddess of stars as well. I don't know about that. She's got something going on in her head. There's some weirdness there. It's implied that the Thunderbird witnessed the Divine Nail fall into Surumi Island during their reign, which temporarily stopped the storms in the island before causing an immune shroud in fog. Although there is no physical remnants of the nail found in game, unlike the ones created in the Chasm of the Dragon's Mine. Oh my goodness, there's so much there. Divine Nail was responsible for the desertification. It was used in the combat, the Forbidden Knowledge, accolated by APAP. According to the legend, King Deshret found the Divine Nail and established the Eternal Oasis there, building a mausoleum for the Goddess of Flowers, using the gems located in the sand of the power of the Jinn. Oh, we could actually go take a look at that. Why? Well, no, it's good to Google. You gotta confirm your facts, and this is stuff where you can, like... That helps condense things. That's what you want, right? Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I appreciate it. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, more lore. We're getting some, uh, we're getting some, we're, we're getting some mini lore. Some Chiori lore. Liori. Wait a second. You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? You know, so she can, uh, finish what she started? <laughs> that would only make the situation worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that too. Yeah, but she'd probably feel better. Arson. Arson. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there then. Oh, by the way, random thing. Good news, everyone. I finally got my thing in the mail from Google AdSense. I can finally uh, access uh, Super Chats now properly. I finally got it. Oh, who's this? Yeah, who did? Oh, you're the, you're the girl with the wedding dress. Uh, this is Miss Letitia. She's also here to see Miss Tiori. Ruh -roh. Oh, you were the one who came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? <laughs> It's like how people say Nilu is the goddess of flowers, Sinos, King Deshra, and Layla has stuff connecting to the stars, and Furina having split personalities also helped the other gods of stars. Well, yeah, it could also just be like reincarnations, right? That's not un improbable, I would say. I think reincarnations of people is probably within the realm of possibility in Zayvat, you know? Ah, oh, Capcom sound. Love it. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to help her out... I'd be more than willing. Oh, good. Ah, so you've come across that article as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You probably don't know this, but after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Poor Kay. Uh, why? Yeah, what she said. My fiancé owns a small business. It doesn't bring in a lot of mora, but we get by. After he proposed, he took me to Chioria Boutique, and we put down a custom order for a dress. Hmm. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chiori's clothes and how pretty they were. Well, you met Child Master. Being able to wear one of her dresses on to my wedding has always been my dream. We met Child's Master. Yeah, uh, Sark, I think her name is, right? No. Snark? Scar? I can't remember her name. I think it's Sark. I can't remember the name right now. She said that the whale is a pet, which whom Nubi was struggling. And she mentioned she has a master... These being her master, Heavenly Principles, Albedo, Master, her most powerful beings, possibly. 
Yeah, well, it's... When she says master, it's in the sense of, like, her, like, sensei, like a trainer. I believe. So, not sure who that is. Skirk, that's the one. Sark is the, Sark is the villain from, uh, uh, Tron. That's why I got that mixed up. Skits! <laughs> Good job, Aiko. Very... Yeah, it's Skirk. Skirk sounds right. Uh, King Deshret and Ruka Devada exhaust all their power. Yeah. And then? Yeah. More Chiori stuff. And then, something happened to the business. And we ran into major Mora problems. We were able to scrounge up enough to pay off our debts, mm -hmm. but it left us without the funds to pay for the dress. But didn't Chiori say she was able to make the dress from what was left of the original deposit? Yes. When I came to cancel the order, she asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out, and then told me not to worry. She assured me that the deposit I paid would be enough for the dress, and that, and that she'd be able to finish making it in time as well. She promised that I'd be able to wear a Chihoria dress on my wedding day. Right, from what I understand, there is the primordial one who ruled the the Dragon Sovereigns. Then Celestia came along, took control, and incited the Archon War and handed out the Gnosis. That sounds about right. The lore indicates that the Primordial One is no longer, or at least no longer, no longer present. Now, what does that mean? Is it dead? Was it killed? Is it somewhere else? Is it sleeping? Is it sealed away? We don't know that detail, right? That could mean anything. It's a little vague on, like, the absolute fate, right? If I remember correctly. I don't think it like, expressly says anywhere exactly what happened. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I've always known Miss Chiori to be a woman of her word. Mm -hmm. It is good. It's just... After I went home yesterday, I couldn't help but take out the dress and try it on. My fiancé happened to walk into the room, and... And when he saw me, he froze on the spot. Yeah, you're not supposed to see your wife's dress before the wedding day. That's like uh... taboo. What a shame. He's not supposed to see it until the wedding day. Yeah, exactly. Well, see, that wasn't actually the issue. Also, null civilizations were direct followers of the primordial one have been destroyed or abandoned. Sounds He's about right. He's seen a lot of wedding dresses in his time doing business. So as soon as he saw it, he knew for sure that it must have cost far more than what we paid. Um... Did they specify who was watching in the Cali Bear quest? Who was watching? Who was watching? Uh, what context? Uh, who, who is, who are you talking about watching? You mean the, um, the thing? The abyss thing? Or, like... Also, who's the primordial one? The dragons were free creatures roaming the world, right? Well, maybe not free. Don't know that specifically. The primordial one was, like, the first being of Tevat. I think. It's just the first thing. That existed. Whatever it, it was. Whether it was a person, a monster, some kind of deformed creature, a tree, who knows. Could be anything. Huh? We don't so have details wait, on that that what it was. Other than that, it was like the first being of Tevet. It ran the... Yeah, it called the shots. It was the... It was the god. Yeah. Miss Chihori covered all the costs and held nothing back. The fabric, accessories, beading, construction. It was all of the highest quality. You're probably a, just a ley line. <laughs> Literally just a ley line. Damn. Wilson said that she deceived Celestia and managed to trick them to delete the Hydro Archon position. More or less, yeah. You, uh, did said they will speak some other time because he was watching. No, we have no idea. That is a very big uh, blank spot right now. But we do know that the entirety of Tevat was kind of like a Samsara cycle proving the existence of constellations, yeah. Like, who god? The god of the world of dragons? He has nothing to do. Who's who he was watching? Oh, it was during the Cali Bear quest line specifically. Uh, where you were, like, learning about the... Uh, Mr. Alberic, the guy who founded the Abyss Order, and then, um... Oh, was the... I think it was that weird Abyss being... The big evil rock. Mm 
Meaning if a primordial one was still alive, they could have easily known about it, yeah. Meaning the primordial one didn't interfere the Itro Hydro Archon seat despite knowing. I don't think Fosalor is smart. It's just that the isn't smart that the primordial one is no longer. Well, think about it this way though. Let's assume for a second. Let's play I'm gonna play Devil's Advocate. Bias bricks and chat. Alright, catch you later, Arrow. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. As long as Geo Dragon? Maybe. That's a maybe, actually. We don't know. That's a very big possibility, though. That's something that's been thrown around for a little while. Um, so let's assume that the primordial one is still alive, and that it did knew it knew that uh, Ruka Nevada was doing that. Who's to say it doesn't want that? What if it was like, oh hell yeah, keep going. Hell, what if it wanted to help? You wouldn't know, right? There's a lot of directions they could take that, actually. That's an unknown, still. You could go either way on that, right? No? It would. Why wouldn't it, though? It got shafted by Celestia, did it not? By the Heavenly Principles? Why would it be happy about that? Why wouldn't it want that? Why wouldn't it want something that would uh, screw over the, the Principles? And furthermore, what if it can't do anything about it? What if it's just, like, in a hole somewhere? We don't know that. Like, there's a lot of vague there. There's a lot of gray that we don't know, right? I sent you two luxurious chest locations. Oh, thank you. Maybe Asia has a Geo Dragon. He looks like one. He has a friendship with Zhongli. No, he was a rock. Nurbala exists. If Hydro Archon seat was to be destroyed, power is directly given to Nurbala. Yeah. But they're the ones that where the power came from anyway. So you know, it's got it's like a trickle down effect, right? I assume the Primordial One would want the powers of Celestia's soul returned to the Sovereigns. Yeah, like right, it, it would want that. Right? Wouldn't that be, like, its goal? If it was still around? Is Duvall in the Animo Dragon? Maybe not because he's super weak and wanders under Venti as a pet. Uh, yeah, that's one that we're... Because it is a dragon, but is it a dragon, or is it the dragon? Who knows? The primordial one wouldn't want another uprising from Sovereigns. After it defeated them. Unless it would. Because, well, maybe if the dragons rise up again, they'll just take care of its problem. But again, it can't do anything, right? Like, it doesn't, when you say it's no more, it doesn't mean it's dead necessarily. It could be just, like, gone from the world. It could have just left. Or it could be sealed up. Because, you know, Celestia come, you know, not Celestia, sorry, Heavenly Principle show up and be like, I'm in charge now. You live in this hole now. How can it, though? How do you know that? Hold on, Ray. You're making a huge assumption here that, like, it can just magically do anything, and you, we don't know that kind of stuff. Obviously, it got rid of, something got rid of it, right? I think he's just a dragon because the world has full, is full of dragons and the animal power given to them. Into him. Yeah, it seems like that's the case. Maybe he was just a lizard. Maybe he was just a regular-ass lizard, and Venti was all like, okay, but what if I just, like, just insert him with animal magic? Uh, we saw that Celestia looks like a prison in the webcomic, by the way, so I'm betting Celestia has the Primordial locked up in its prison. That would make sense to me! Like, that makes sense to me. Like, that's why, like, I would absolutely imagine that could be the case. Like I said earlier, the entirety of Tama is like a Samsara cycle. Presumably. But yeah, I would assume that's true. That's kind of how it's set up. Anyway, we're getting a little off track here. Let's get back on, uh, let's get back on task here. We want to get through this before the stream's out. Like to use your story for a piece I'm writing about the boutique. Would you mind going on the record? Huh? Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. Uh, dragons were killed, only a few left, I guess, but their power was taken and given to the Archons. Yeah, we're, we're assuming most of them were killed off, because I don't, I think Apep is one of the original ones, right? Like, it's not like, it's not a, like, Nervalette is a descendant. I, I think Apep is one of the OG ones, right? Well, how... Oh, yeah, sure. So, so this is like a prison. How? Isn't the heaven where people want to go? Fontaine people worship it. Well, they used to worship it. They don't worship that anymore. After defeating the Sovereigns, the Primordial One entirely recreated Tevet. Mm -hmm. Nervala is a reincarnation. Alright, I'll catch you later, Midnight. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. 
precarious of the well reincarnation slash descendant. It is a direct. He's a direct descendant. I'm pretty sure, right? Why is Apep still mad? Is he evil now? No, he's just angry. He's not evil. He's just angry. Yeah, Celestia took the Primordial One's throne. Like the Archons took the Sovereign's power. Yeah, someone just rolled up on him and just did the exact same thing he did to the dragons. He's just like, they just, you know, yoinked, yoink us to the power and it was like, you've gotten it wrong. Uh, how do you know you, what, okay, what's your source? Let's get some sources here. AP is, APEP is another Sovereign OG. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it'd go a long way. Your real experience is more powerful than all those lies combined. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ayla. Hey, Ayla. Have come back here since we left? Oh, Celestia is the play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that part. I think they meant principles. They meant the heavenly principles, I think. That was just a, I think that was just a, a, a phrase mis, uh, misphrasing. Nubi is a descendant. He has mentioned that he is one. And but was born in a human physical form. Yeah, he has a dragon form. He just can't like maintain it. I think. Huh? I thought you were all together. Well, we were. Um, if she didn't come back here, then do you know? Heavenly principles also equals primordial one. I don't. I'm not sure about that one. I thought that primordial one got ousted, didn't it? Isn't that what it said in the uh, the really evil book? Is that someone rolled up and like you know outed the uh, primordial one somehow? What if Venti's the Animo Dragon? He has the hair. Oh, unlikely. I remember now. Given his age, unlike given his see. mostly confirmed age, unlikely. Considering we actually know what he is, because he's a he's like a Sealy. He's like a Wind Elemental. Newbie doesn't have a dragon form. He was born in human form. It's his original form. Primordial Gun is the first. Yes. In that case. Why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Letitia, and Letitia. you two can go look for Miss Chiori. Yeah, we'll go find her. We'll go see if she's committing arson right, or not. Sounds good. Let's go. Another group of people came after to defeat the Primordial One. It failed in the attempt. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that's not true. I remember this part of the book. The book says it is unclear who won. They didn't fail. It's unclear if they were successful. I am certain of that. I am almost 100% that's what the book said. That someone else showed up to take it out, and it's unclear if they were successful or not. Now, the wiki says Celestia is ruled by the Heavenly Principles, which I don't think is the primordial one. I think the Principles came after. Because they're not... Because the, they say that the Principles are a descender, and I don't think they're the first. Uh, where am I going? I should just make sure where I'm going. Oh, it's way far away. Oh, God. The second coming having succeeded for sure. If they were successful, the laws of Tevat would have changed. Maybe they did. We don't know what the laws were. We weren't there. Hey, look, Chiori's just chilling. She's hanging out. There you are, Chiori! There she is. How did you know where I... Ah. I love told you, didn't she? She did. Mm -hmm. We were just looking for you at the shop and Letitia was there. She wanted to thank you for the dress. So, you see? You don't have to be sad. Yes, she we'll does. figure out how to get through this together. Yeah. So, uh, what's the difference between Heavenly Principal Celestia and the Unknown God and Venti? We have no idea. Oh, and Venti. Uh, Venti's an Archon. <laughs> That's the difference. But the best and safest bet would be that both sides ended up losing in a draw, and that's why the current throne is empty. Hmm. Uh, I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Meaning this is why Heavenly Principles or Primordial One hasn't interfered. Wanna sit here with me? Well, Maybe I believe the, the Principles are still around, though. Right? We, we know that. That's why Nahida was able to use them as a threat, right? Because she was like, hey, hey, doctor guy, what if I smash this thing? What do you think the principles will do? And they're like, and he's all like, I don't want to find out. I'm good. If I remember how that interaction went correctly. Uh, 
sorry about that. I'm the only one here most of the time. Heavenly Principle wants to have supreme power over Teva. She attacked Traveler and his sister. Well, we don't know if that's the Heavenly Principles. We don't know who the hell that is. We can. That's an assumption. It's a fair assumption, but it's an assumption. Mm. That's exactly how that went. Yeah, like that's exactly how that went. So like clearly these principles are clearly still around to some extent because if anyone would know it would at this point would probably be like, you know, Dottore, right? He knows everything. The heavenly principles are also why we are literally stuck on the planet. Yep. What's up, Foxy? What's up, man? How's it going? What's the strongest pillar mean? It means it is a strong piece of... Uh, it means he can hold a house up. Or some kind of big... He's a good building structure. <laughs> Don't know who she is. She literally said she's the Heavenly Principal. Mm, I do not remember her saying that. Is anyone... Does anyone confirm or deny that? I do not recall them saying that. Nope, that would be Piero slash the Jester. He is the zero in the Fatui Harbinger ranks. Oh. I don't think the Unknown God ever said that. I don't think they ever said that. I am the Heavenly Principle. I think they said nothing of the sort. Alright, don't mind if we do. Alright, let's get some more uh, Chiori lore. We've gotten so off track. The sustainer of the heavenly principles. What does that mean? Well, how does it feel? Ooh, another bit of like a, a unique artwork. Uh, if she did say that, which I don't recall if they did or not, that would just mean that they're like a retainer, right? Or like a servant of the heavenly principles. They are there to sustain them, protect them. Could be that. All right, catch you later, uh, Squid. When Furina gets a second story quest. Would we get a reaction of the Heavenly Principles about the Hydra Archon? That'd be cool. The unknown god who stopped the Traveler and the sibling 500 years ago in the game's opening cutscene introduced herself as the sustainer of Heavenly Principles. But what this means is not yet understood. Yes. Now, this could also be a classic case of the writers didn't know what they were doing with it yet. Because remember, um... Genshin Impact, on release, was intended to be a much shorter game. The fact that the game blew up the way it did was not expected at the time. So things very likely have changed from their original vision. So just hold on to that information. Keep that in mind. Fix, I'm a hundred, a million percent sure Hu Tao's in the Liyue banner because the Monset banner, you can see Hu Tao for a split second. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean by that. A sustainer means she could be a servant, ordered to unalive travelers. True. D&D break is over. Alright, enjoy your D&D, Kim. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Also, yeah, that's why we haven't gotten the time island or heard more about Venti. True. But yeah, I would imagine that many things have changed over the... Uh, the course of the game's development, at least from the very early, early days. This place is pretty great. Yeah, it is. This artwork's very nice too. Look how pretty she is. And, open, and far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators and the media. Yeah, screw the media. It's just you and the beautiful scenery. Which also means the Heavenly Principles is not an individual. Not necessarily. The Heavenly Principles could be. Because you could say, I'm a sustainer of them. You could just mean they're a servant of someone or something. Because, wait, hold on. Isn't... Who are... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to look up something real quick. i got to Google something to confirm something. It was something uh, Nahida said. Yeah, the first descender is the Heavenly Principles. So, I don't think a concept fell onto the planet, right? Heavenly Principle is not an individual. It only proves my point right. So the sustainer of Heavenly Principle, she sustains those principles. I did not miss your message, man. I'm telling you, though. Nahida talks about them like they're a person. 
Okay, what did I miss? Elaborate. What did I miss? You said it's either Heavenly Principles equals Primordial One or Rules of Teva. I... Okay. I said that either Heavenly Principles equals Primordial One or the Rules of Teva. I don't think it's either. I think that... I think it's neither, if honestly. I don't think the Principles are the Primordial One. I think the Principles came after. Because the Primordial One was probably here in Teva is not a Descender. I don't think. I think that it's, it's uh, it was here first. And the Principles are listed as a Descender. Nahida said so. Which would imply that they are not a concept, like a set of rules, but instead, like a person. Who, where does it say the primordial one is a descender, though? That's what I'm missing. That's the information I'm missing. Who's even the primordial one? I never heard about them. Uh, you'll learn about, I think, the... Hold on, let me go to the Google. Uh, Genshin... I want to get back onto this story quest so we can get this done, but uh, I am interested in this still. Primordial one. Is the progenitor god who allegedly came to Vavat from... Allegedly. That's interesting. Mm. Yeah, everything with them is very allegedly. But, uh, uh, reveals that through a table there's descenders... She suspects that the first is the to be the heavenly principles. This may be referring to the primordial one, the rival Teva. Okay, maybe. So it could be. Teva. The other possible candidate, either the heavenly principles or just the first descender, is the second who came. Yeah, it's there's no way to prove that one, as I thought. No, that's the thing. It's alleged. There's no way of proving it. It just says that they came to Teva. Are they considered a descender then, or is it something else? I don't know. We don't know. I want to wait. I'm not going to, like, call anything as right or wrong until we get to that point, right? Also, why is my last four-star Sucrus? Because, God, the game can't stop reminding you. You should reread the Heavenly Principles wiki, Ray. Also may be true. I don't know about that. Anyway, I want to take a break from this conversation because I do want to get through this quest line really bad. Well, the wiki is a really good source, though, because the wiki is, like, where everyone has gathered all that information and condensed it, right? The quest is almost over. Okay, we gotta keep pace. I want to keep pace. I want to get through this. I didn't grow up in a very strict. I want my I want my tiny Paimon my outfit. Parents would joke that I grew up to be so assertive because they spoiled me as a child. I would get together with the other children to climb trees and explore caves. One time, I even climbed over the walls of the Kamisato estate. One of the servants had to physically remove me. <laughs> Whoa, Prima would have never imagined that. They do. Yeah, the wiki does in fact cite their sources. Other thing. Well, okay. This is something I'm just going to point out. I'm going to just make this as, as a point of fairness, and I think why people get a little riled up is stating your opinion, like your thoughts on something as a fact, and that's good. That's dangerous, right? And that's why people get riled up. That's all. Nothing to worry about. You're good, man. Like I, I think you're good. Like you're totally fine. Like I, I like the conversation. I think it's an engaging discussion. I'm just saying, if people are getting riled up, that's that's probably why. <laughs> Also, Ico has asked the real hard-hitting question. Ray, answer that question. I want to see your your uh, your opinion on that. But even as rambunctious as I was, when it came to needlework, I was as quiet and focused as could be. Dragon Venti, blah blah. I agree with Ray on this. It was as if I discovered. Venti is a goddamn wind elemental. You know the feeling. Uh, sorta. My parents noticed, and they sent me to study under a famous Inazuma tailor. It wasn't long before I had driven away pretty much every master tailor on the archipelago. You could say I really tried their patience. Hmm. You were that misbehaved? I wasn't misbehaved, exactly. I just often had strange ideas when it came to fashion. Ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. Honestly, I like this little, like, 
fading to different pieces of artwork. I like this. If Venti's a dragon, then I am Batman. Ashish is Batman. You heard it here first, folks. Damn. On top of that, I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. I agree with the sentiment, Ray. I use the wiki as a refresher, and I feel like I'm not remembering something. After all, it's been four years. True. Anyway, a few incidents later, I soon found myself without a master. Worse, not one shop was willing to hire me. Not even to do grunt work. Hmm? No wonder you left Inazuma. I was angry and frustrated. So, before I left, I swore to all those masters that my brand would one day become renowned all over Tabat. Well, that's a great dream to strive towards. Hell yeah. After that, I came all the way to the Court of Fontaine. A city often referred to as the capital of arts and fashion. I had a lot of fun starting out. Sure, I was living in a small cramped room, but I was finally free to make whatever I wanted. We're finally getting our... Uh, we're at the sad part of the story where we get the tragic backstory. I had a Everyone's favorite part. naive view of fashion back then. As long as something was pretty, it would become popular, right? A simple concept, sure. Venti is a creation of Teva. It's stated in the lore. The Vision Holders are the closest beings to Celestia as they can become Archons. Venti became an Archon like that. Which is kind of wild that the rules of the universe looked at this little wind elemental and was all like, yo, hook this guy up with some more magic powers. Venti has four pets. That's rude. FYI, because one of those pets is a human being. <laughs> Technically. Technically. He also uh, offered us to become one, too. Paimon said that if she was free food, she'll become one in the future. I mean, you can offer Paimon free food for anything and she'll do it. Whatever. What, what do you mean? Of course. As I spent more and more time in the industry, I learned nothing was ever that simple. Least of all, fashion. Well, someone who absolutely adored your designs and dreamed of wearing one at her wedding. Oh, you mean Letitia? I do mean Letitia. Yeah, she did mention that dream. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I ever heard something like that from one of my customers. Oh. Who would have thought? Even as I continue to pursue my dream, my work... Oh my god, Paimon is so close to the ground, it's freaking me out. So, so it's kind of funny then. So only people who can learn magic, who are gifted magic powers by whatever force gives visions out can become archons. But only people from other dimensions are allowed to become the universe's god. That's kind of funny in hindsight when you think about it. A beach date. Look how close... It's not quite, not quite, it's more like a cliff date, but look how close Pi, I can't really see her all that because it zoomed in a little bit, but she's so close to the ground. We are this close, chat, to having standing Paimon. Remember everyone, standing Paimon isn't real, it can't hurt you. Wolf, lion, uh, eagle, slash falcon, who's, uh, the falcon was a human. The falcon was Vanessa, wasn't it? Yeah, the the uh, the titles weren't all literal. The Falcon was a human, if I remember right. Am I right on that one? Vanessa was the Falcon, or is she the lion? I'm pretty sure she was the Falcon. Can someone confirm that? Ray, you're the lore guy. You can confirm this, right? I've seen too many Paimon dancing videos. It's traumatizing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Talking about vision holders now, are they still mortal? I mean, do they have normal lifespans? Do they live, like, for hundreds of years, like, normal human age? I've actually wondered that. I don't know. I mean, they're very killable. I mean, look at Kazuha's homie who got, like, obliterated. Like, they're they're very mortal in that sense, but do they have longer lives? Actually, maybe. I wouldn't doubt that. That a vision holder has their life extended because, you know, magic and all that. But it makes sense the primordial one has to be above all else. And if it can be influenced by Ermin's soul, then you probably have a problem. Yeah, that's true. 
Makes sense. I've walked in your story quest like three times. Also, which is why Venti can't become a primary one. Yes. Vanessa ascends to Falcon. Yes. But yeah, so the fact that one of his pets, as you put it, was a person is kind of funny. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, so the Falcon was Vanessa. But but Ray, Venti is friends with the God of Time. Is he? Wait, is he? All right. That's enough sightseeing for one day. Time to come up with a way out of this mess. Paimon, you're so close to the ground. Just lower like a smidge and we'll have standing Paimon finally. Do it, you coward! Ooh, looks like you've got your game face back! I'm gonna go see if there's desert. Why do you want desert? Uh, is one of the shades of Fanes equals primary one? Yeah. Yeah, that one, uh, Time Island is in Monsanto. It's brought to you by the Monsanto Corporation. Back? It was never gone to begin with. I did say I wasn't upset, didn't I? Paimon thinks hmm? we should look for evidence that Uter wrote that article, and that he hired those treasure hoarders to attack Kirara. I'm sure there's all kinds of documentation. When we go find the guy that, uh, hi that was hired by him, and kneecap him. So we can publish all our findings in the Steambird once we're done. Also, Paimon was tapping her toes, the ground with her toes. I know, right? She was so close to becoming standing Paimon and truly terrifying a nation. So he's connections to the phases, so... What if he's a Fanes? Ray, I'm gonna be real with you, dude. You are fighting an uphill battle, not because you are dealing with unknown lore. You're actually gonna... I guarantee you're gonna be on point with everything you say here, Ray. But you're battling... A girl with a crush on Venti. I don't think you can win this. I think you're gonna... You're, just quit while you're ahead, man. Trust me. Oh, is the town donated a soundboard and uppercut? Oh, no. I don't think that would make for a good uh, uppercut. At least not for my channel. It was funny, though. I did, I did enjoy it. I did watch it. Who has a crush on Venti? Aiko. Aiko does. Also, Kazuo's friend was unalived. I mean... He'll die like that, but not naturally. Yeah. Older in Azuma, many people have visions, they're young. Yeah. Um, honestly, I don't know. I've questioned that, but maybe. I think it would stand to reason that, um, a vision holder with all this power of elemental magic going through them probably get, like, you know, a couple, an extended life at worst. Vision needs to be attractive, so I'll swipe them. That's also true. Oh, also, um, you know what? Uh, AO makes a... We actually do know an elderly vision holder. There is actually a, an old guy who's a vision holder. We know one. Yeah, no, that's not what his uh, question is, though, Ray. He's thinking more like, if you're given a vision, does the vision give you a longer life? Not Tepe. Tepe doesn't have a vision. Tepe had a delusion. Tepia? That sounds like tilapia, like the fish. No, no, no. It was uh, during the uh, Archon quest in Inazuma. Remember, we were going around finding all the guys who had their uh, vision stolen? One of them was an old guy. Yeah, Io is kind of a... Sprigs, you missed my last point. Uh, I probably did. Oh, the shades are still present in Tevat, meaning the primordial one didn't exactly lose to the second coming. Oh. Well... Again, I don't think that was overly relevant to the point at hand, which is why I didn't... I, don't, I also thought that was directed at someone else. My bad. If we were going back to the primordial one, but I was more I was more uh, engaging with the uh, vision question at the time. Sorry, man. Yeah, you're right. But, like, they'll get old one day. Like, they can't make characters old because you have to sell that. But what about other people, random NPCs? Yeah, you know what? Truth be told, I would love to see an old, uh, an old person, an older person, as a playable character. I think that'd be neat. Like, how cool could it be to have like you know the old man samurai archetype? You know the one. Also, hey, cynical, welcome to the stream, man. How's it going? No, no problem. Just giving you an answer to the question that you raised earlier. Ah, okay. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I don't like duking it out in the press. <sighs> but if Charlotte's thrown her hat in the ring. I won't stop her either. It's a well-designed hat. I bet you made it too. I know where Uter's clothing factory is located. 
It might be a good place to start looking for some evidence. Ooh, is this going to be where we would get our Chiori um, demo? As for Fashion Week, well, there's always next year, right? So there's no need to be too. I don't want to wait a year for a little Paimon outfit. Huh? I paid good money for when this. this. And by good money, I mean I paid nothing at all. Find incriminating evidence or participate in Fashion Week. <laughs> I'm doing both. Uh, but your accessories. Didn't you say your designs were unusable without them? Well, it's true that I haven't quite figured out what to do about that, but... They won't make a playable old character. They don't even make fat chubbies because they want more attractive to sell. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't gone for, like, a chubby character yet. Or, like, a character who's just, like, not, like, the traditional attractive archetype. Because, A, well, firstly, everyone has a type. And, B... I honestly think if they made a really power, like a relatively powerful character who was really funny and was like some hulking mass of just like, like just, just an absolute refrigerator would be, uh, would make for a really, really fun character potentially. And people might actually buy into it just for the memes. Red Strange hair to make him unique. Oh God. I don't think they'll do that to Varka. I think Varka has too much buildup at this point. I think Varka is going to get some special treatment, regardless. To tell you the truth, even here in Fontaine, I could be wrong, but I'm, every time I see the sea, I'm dropping my controller. Oh god! Help but remember Knock on wood. And the vow I made in front of those masters. Thinking about all that, I just can't bear to take even one step back. <sighs> the sea. Hmm? The sea. What did you just say, Chiori? She said the sea, Paimon. Open your ears. Seashells, coral. <laughs> I've got it. She's got it. Yeah, you think? Tell that to Adepti and Signora. Oh, what? Um, okay, Adepti, sure. But honestly, I I don't have strong feelings about that at all. Like, honest, I, I know you were really riled up about that, but man, I... For me, that made sense. Signora, on the other hand, she had a great model. But she was a boss fight, though, right? She had more going on for her. That's why I think, like, a character like Varka might get something going on, because he has a lot of, like, character and build-up, kind of like Signora does. That was perfect. <laughs> Come. No, no, Signora had Let's a great model. Not a playable character model, by like, by any means. But it looked great. Uh, let me just quote the Traveler real quick. Alright, let's go. Yeah, Varka had more build-up than the Adepti. Yeah, we weren't even expecting Adepti models, right? Like, human models? We were always just kind of like, well, yeah, he's a... Because they already have unique models, right? Why would I expect them to have, like, a... another model, specifically unique model for them, when they already have these very, like, unique models? Hey, Polar, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I was never expecting to see them as humans anyway. Why didn't you? What do you think is the most beautiful thing in the sea? Me. Uh, currently you. Um, a Lumi Twelve? Or a Pearl, maybe? Oh, Coral's pretty too. Oh, Paimon gets it now! You want to use things like that as the accessories for your designs! Well, what? now that you hit the nail on the head, let me grab some, would you? Leave it to us. Let's see. Ah, I see where it's supposed to be. Yeah, the most beautiful thing in the sea right now is Chiori. Right, with all of Genshin's references to Celtic mythology, I could see a situation where the Primordial One was tricked into walking into a jail cell and is now imprisoned. Uh, oh, that's actually a really good point, Ao. Sure. I could stand with that. Zhao is playable. I'm talking about the disappointment factor. It's either good model, not playable, or shit model and not playable. And they're like disappointing, important characters. I say, well, yeah, but if, if you're looking from their perspective, they have a, a couple of characters that are going to be on screen for one single event, probably. No intentions of making them playable. Are you going to spend money making them look nice? Like, from a business standpoint, does that make sense? Because to me, it really doesn't. Unless they had intentions of using them regularly and have them being, like, really story important in those models, it just doesn't, like, it doesn't make it worth it to me. 
Like, it just doesn't seem all that important. Signora, on the other hand, yeah, she was extremely lore important, storyline important. She was making several appearances. She was a main antagonist for a while. Of course she's going to get a unique model even if she's not playable. That makes perfect sense. And what are you talking about? Signora is playable now. We all know we can get her in the card game. I'm sorry. I don't know why I do this to myself. The shades can easily remove any kind of jail, uh, definitely because they're shades. Copies of primordial ones. And remember, Tevat was made by the primordial one. You know what? Screw all this. Tevat's a computer. We're like on a random computer on like the Astral Express or something. We're literally on like, we're like Windows Vista. Okay? There's my lore. Teva is Windows Vista, don't at me. They wouldn't put all the Adepti on the banners. That'd be kind of funny. The Adepti banner. Chiari, will these do? Mm. <laughs> Everything How are we doing for time, by the way? We better get, we better get rolling. collected a pretty big batch, so we should have enough. Great! So are we gonna head back now and make some new designs? Yes, but don't forget. We've got more than just the designs to worry about when we get back. Yeah, we have to go uh, murder a guy. I'd love to see the Traveler as one of the Aeons. I don't care if it's another universe. Okay. That would be neat, We've wouldn't got it? Materials for the accessories. Next. He is, uh, oh what my goodness. Have on hand to create some new outfits. Okay, here's your ultimate plot twist. The Traveler is actually Nanook. There it is. There's the real lore. Bet you didn't see that one coming. You mean we have to start from scratch? Will there be enough time? Of course there will be. I should be able to make it. If I skip out on sleep. Uh -oh. oh no, skipping out on sleep is not the answer. Wait, how come this conversation is giving Paimon major deja vu? Uh, it sounds similar to when we had with Ganyu before, oh, doesn't Ganyu? it? Who's that? A friend of ours who does really too much overtime. I think Celestia as an institution are the second coming because they and their institution are like the second cycle to the primordial one and his first cycle. What if the Traveler is just a random French dude named Speep? <laughs> Speep. <laughs> where, where does Speep come from? I'm sorry, what? Hello, my name is Speep. <laughs> Surprise well, gone, Gloria. Anyway, sleep is important. You're not going to convince Paimon otherwise. Oh my god. We are... We are currently in... Um... We're a computer in Bellabog. That's <laughs> well, it. That's it. One thing's for sure, though. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. You know, there is actually another point that we're all missing here as far as the lore goes, and this is kind of what I'm expecting. Because this is something that would be very, very Hoyo to do. A swerve. <laughs> all this grit and also, I don't think we... Do we know that? It reminds me of the first fashion week I ever participated in. I don't know if we know that, specifically. We might. I'm not sure, actually, because it's like, you say that, and I'm like, that sounds correct, but something is, like, nagging at me when I go, Whoops! The hell are you? Rosie? Hey, I know, a, I know, there was a wrestler named Rosie. He was cool. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a story quest, though. What else can we help with? Celestia consists of the throne. What if, like, Celestia is like a cardboard cutout <sighs> that floats in the sky. What if it's like a kite? I suppose all there's left to do is tear up all the outfits currently on display. Mihoyo is laughing at us so hard right now, right? It's true. They make us do all the cooking. Yeah, I'm expecting a swerve. Uh, wait, what did you just say? We're going to go up to it. We're going to get to that point, and it's going to be like, we've discovered, we're finally at Celestia, the place where the Primordial One created, and then it's going to be all like, no, it was not created by the Primordial One, it was created by me, and it'll be some, like, new character we've never even heard of. Could you imagine? Could you imagine that? The skies of Tevat are fake. This was a real statement. Indeed. You heard me. Tear them all up. When I went to that first fashion week... Oh, cool. Do I get to actually, like, cut, no like attack them? To, speak of. to destroy them? Just a few dozen yards of fabric in a dream. Why do you play in NA if you live in EU? Polar doesn't live in the EU in Europe. What do you mean? <laughs> Where'd you get that idea? I want to quit Genshin, but 
there's so much time that I can't quit. I understand that. It's like a sunk cost fallacy, right? Like, you've put so much into it, so you don't want to quit. Right now, I like I don't want to quit. I just you know wish I could stream other things sometimes. I have to make something work. So but that's just like isn't polar tell his family's that I yeah. With me from Inazuma, and I use the scraps to make my entries for the show. I use the larger pieces for the base fabric and the smaller pieces for accessories. Yeah, my best friend's German, but he lives in Canada. Yeah, Polar lives like down the street from me. If it worked back then, why not now? We can also repurpose some of the ready to use accessories in the shop as well. Mm -hmm. But you worked so hard on all these outfits. I know. That's why I refuse to let it all go to waste. I'm not going to let them win, even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Um, okay, then. Here goes nothing. Do not black screen white text no me. You've been doing so good about that quest. You. Of course. If anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. Heh. <laughs> I go, what are you talking about? I have no idea. Oh my goodness, it is actually that. Ooh, what kind of traveler am I? It made me... Okay, we got... okay. this is my... Uh... Oh, Hydro Traveler. Alright, sick. Don't worry, I won't, I won't slice them up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hydrate them. Go. Water Jet! Oh, we, haven't, we haven't used a Hydro Traveler in a hot minute. Well, that was fun. Good job. I love that the goatee. Thank you. Zumi sleeping on my bed and she's being very cute. Chiori, are you alright? Sorry for taking so long. I got caught up and... Whoa. What happened to your shop? Uh, we were ransacked. I don't know by who. Uh, who did this? Those monsters. Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? <laughs> they even sent people to wreck your shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw that coming. I agree that Celestia has the throne, but I think the throne as a physical item, which could be moved. Celestia also appears to be a chunk of land literally pulled into the sky. Also true. Like we're like we don't know the like we're missing some origins on it. The skies of Tevat are fake. So wait, hold on, hold on, Ray, Ray. We we do know that, but like that could mean a lot of things. That could mean that the sky being blue isn't real. It could mean that, like, Teva is in a literal dome and, like, there's an outside of Teva that, like, you know, like, world is flat kind of thing. Or my theory of Celestia literally being a cardboard cutout is true. Like, there's a lot of interpretations of the sky is fake. It could fit into the simulation theory, even, to some extent, right? Oh, so then why doesn't it fix, uh, Sprix visit Polar? Because, like... Because I don't really go places. Foxy, I don't leave my house. What if Teva just isn't... Didn't have a sky exactly. The sky didn't exist. What if the sky's on fire? The sky is indeed fake. I choose to take that as the dome thing, Sprix mentioned. Yeah, that's what, like, that's, a. I think, probably, like, the most... That's the easiest interpretation. It could be that... It's like an illusion. Like, there's something behind the sky that's not even, like, a dome. Like, like, like we're in space or something, or we're actually inside the abyss the whole time, or something like that. Do you know about the world tree, Sprix? Do you mean urban soul? Like, the tree of knowledge world tree? Or do you mean, like, another world tree within Genshin? Or do you mean the world tree line of thinking in real life? Like, in Greek mythology. Yeah, I say real life, but, you know, like, our interpretation of it is what I mean what if the sky was bomb bomb Bakudan and Klee was right there to blow it up I like cynical's theory give me their names since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes I think it's about time the Spina di Rosula returned the favor oh no it was me uh, I did it maybe you should calm down a bit first cause you see uh... I was the one who did it boss please go easy on us uh huh <laughs> Oof. What is this? A soap opera? <laughs> okay, that was funny. Ask the traveler to tear up the outfits. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself just now. <laughs> Back to what you were doing, everyone. You can all just pretend like I didn't say anything. No, I'm not. I like that. What I was thinking is that 
thinking spirits is that there's something behind the sky. Like, fake sky covering up something big. Yeah, but... Interesting question, then. How long is each samsara, and why is each samsara? And how does what, uh... Uh... How does the actions of, um... Nahida removing things from Ermensul, as well as the thing that Furina did, or sorry, Fosalors did, impact that Samsara. Like, does that impact it in any meaningful way? Maybe. Yeah, Hoyobor is from a smorgasbord of mythologies and ideologies as well. You should check out uh, Gnosticism, the huge inspiration for Fake Sky. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, like that's why like the thing that's why this is so compelling, right? Because there's so many unknowns. We only know about the current Samsara. Exactly, it's compelling though, isn't it? You're just like, well, well, what does it mean then? What happens now? Like it's so mm, so good. The Samsara is the third or fourth one, maybe. You think it lines up with the number of descenders? Like each Samsara has its own descender, because there's four descenders, four Samsaras. Mm, maybe. Could that be, like, the turning point for each one? This is very compelling. Nadia sure is scary when she's angry. She has a gunbrella, Paimon. She's terrifying. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a false accusation. No one's gonna orchestrate some conspiracy to take down one of my friends and get away with it. So if she murders uh, Uter, it's okay then, right? You and Chiori are really close. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Ray. That's enough speculate. Well, for all the speculations we did today, oh god, my brain hurts. Of course, everyone knows that Chiori makes the most gorgeous outfits in town. All of the Spina di Rosula's formal wear is custom tailored here. Ooh. Oh, does that mean I can get one of uh, one of the Spina suits made for me? Forms as well. As if you'd enjoy designing something as boring and formulaic as a uniform. That's why I didn't ask you in the first place, silly. Plus, with how much your intel has helped us out in the past, to the Spina, you're more of an intelligence agency than a fashion boutique. Oh my god, she is the shadow broker. Emotional way, damage! That's like your favorite sound right now, isn't it, Foxy? The emotional damage is like you're, you're, you're even having fun with that one, huh? Anyway, we both know why I'm here. Emotional damage. Service to you. If it's not too much trouble, can I borrow some skilled hands to help with some simple sewing work? I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to finish these out. Do I get my tiny Paimon outfit or nah? Oh no problem. I've got a few of those guys all ready to go. I just knew you wouldn't be intimidated into withdrawing from this year's show. When are you going to get started? I can help with sewing too. Actually, there's something else I'd like to ask of you. Murder? I'm all ears. Murder? Oh, and because you get damaged. I don't think so. Hey, Osti. Welcome I'll to the stream. It's been a hot minute. How's it going? How's life treating you? I'm doing quite well myself. I'm, uh... I'm a little. I've been a little under the weather. I got a bit of a cough today, actually. My th my throat's sore. I don't like it. I think I'm fine, but meh. Where is Nikki? Oh, she's doing her thing. Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? Go! What happened to the boutique? <laughs> Who did this? Give me names. I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow. Oh no, it was me. I did it. Not this again. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. You have anything funny to say? What should we do about these clothes everywhere? Need any help? Can I have them? Sort them by the type of fabric first, and then by color. Oh, and... Don't forget to remove any accessories and put them to the side. That sounds pretty straightforward. I'll help too. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright, uh, search for Linny and Lynette. Man, this quest is really just calling in everyone, isn't it? It's a little something for everyone. Where is it? We're calling in, like, the reinforcements. Also, do we think we have enough time to finish this quest in, like, 45 minutes? Because I do have work after stream. So, this is the the House of the Heart, right? 
Ooh, is your father at home? Is your father at home? A moment later and you'd have missed us. We read the article in the papers. We were just about to go find Miss Chiori. Hey, Damien. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I'm still missing a few items, but they're... All the rooms are functional. There's just a couple boxes left. Everything is disorganized and time to unpacking. Hey. Whoops! The hell are you? Kitty Cat. What a normal name. I'm sorry, but we're in a story quest. She helped design a number of our costumes in the past and even sponsored one I'm of our I'm glad to hear that the, the move's going well. The time has come, it seems, for us to return the favor. Oh, perfect! She was the one who sent us! In that case, I assume that there's something we can do to help. Mm -hmm. Just say the word and we'll take care of it. Uh, murder. Okay, so it's like this. And arson. And or arson. Spricks, did you shave? You look a bit different. Um, did I shave? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Whoops! The hell are you? Cynical! I expect better of you. Should be a piece of cake for the two of us. I'm on glad to hear it! Well then, right, let's do it. guess it's about time we go and find some evidence for all the bad stuff uter has been doing, right? Uter. Chiori said we shouldn't disturb her over the next couple of days. We can check in with her again once she's done with all the new designs. But the show's in another two days, isn't it? Will she be able to make the deadline? Probably. Well, according to her, she wants to first beat Uter fair and square at the show, and then defeat him in the court of public opinion. She said that it'd be like, uh... Oh, I just want to hear the line again. I see. Fontaine is Arlecchino Sims. Yes. I love the whom's to the hell are you. A lot of people like it. Oh, maybe that should have been the... Oh, that could have been a good password, actually, for the... For the, uh, for the Discord, for the verification thing. The bot prevention thing. The password could have been whom's to the hell are you. Too hard to spell, I think, for people. I think it would have been... Oh, you just have to copy-paste it. That's not the point. A two-pronged approach? But I think, I think House of Lies is just as good. Courtesy first, confrontation second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. Arson. Understood. Violence. Come on, let's choose violence, everyone. We'll go make some preparations. See you at the venue in two days. Catch you later. Right, Catch you later. You. Okay. Damien, it's well, Walter Spriggs now. Something Chiori like that. Said, and meet up with her at Uter's factory in two days. We'll gather the evidence then. Oh, I'm unsure. Hope she won't have a hard time making all those new outfits for the show. I, all I asked for was a tiny Paimon outfit. And I couldn't even get that. Uh, wait until two days later. Is this the final part? Yes, it is. Okay, so we need to wait for two days. We stand here awkwardly. Who the hell are you? Yeah. It doesn't have the same punch though, right, Foxy? I just noticed there's a treasure chest right beside me. Books are made for transferring Hello. from unsolicited. Neat. And all the more it's kind of chill in there. All right, Uter's factory is. Oh, it's underground. Oh, it's in the sewers. It's in the slums. That's kind of concerning, isn't it? I'm on five-ish K primos now. Oh, that's not bad, Damien. The waiting uh, mechanic is so silly. Oh, silly in a good way or silly in a bad way? Hey, Chiori. Chiori! How are the new outfits coming along? Uh, you look kind of tired. Just a few steps left now. Mm -hmm. I've handed the rest over to Ilov. We should be able to make tonight's show. Wow, that's tired women are my favorite close. aesthetic, and I have no are shame in that. Are you sure she'll be okay without you? Question, uh, hard question for you. Alright, what's your hard question, right? Get the luxurious chests before stream ends. If I don't get them today, Foxy, we'll do them tomorrow first thing, alright? Just remind me when first thing you arrive, assuming I don't remember beforehand. Don't worry. I have no intention of... Because we'll see quest. how long this rest of this quest takes. With the fashion show scheduled for tonight, Uter has closed his factory. This is our only chance to secure any incriminating evidence. Okay, Paimon totally gets that this is all his fault and he totally deserves it, but... Wouldn't we technically be trespassing on his property if we just barge in like this? Yes. His factory is usually open to the public. 
It may not be open for business right now, but that doesn't mean visitors can stop by for a tour. Uh, I'm pulling for Nuvi and Kazua. Who should I use the guarantee on? How confident are you on your 36-ing ability in the Abyss? We'll start with that question. I'm doing the quest you are now, Spriggs. Oh, awesome. It's been it's been f entertaining so far. We're just curious customers after all, aren't we? Well, when you put it that way. Yeah, we're just curious customers. Anyway, Breaking and entering is okay if you're a curious customer, Let's apparently. Get moving. Uh, why would he open a factory over there? We have different marketing strategies. While I specialize in high-end custom garments, he prefers low prices and large sales volumes. I don't know. Maybe the rent here is cheap. <laughs> all right. Ooh, it's really creepy. Hyman would never choose to buy anything from a place like that. No, I want it both forever. Well, not forever, forever. I mean, certainly, I feel like you've wanted Kazua for a lot longer than Nuvi, right? Well, my characters are mostly 80 to 70 levels, and talent 6 to 8, and I can still 32, 34. I feel like Kazua gives you more options. Kazuo is more flexible. I think he opens up more opportunities, and he's really, really good on abyss floors with lots of little enemies. He also trivial helps to trivialize a lot of the defend the point ones, which is nice. Like Nuvi is broken sideways and will just solve a side for you. Kazuo can fit into a million and a half teams and opens a lot of doors. I then, well, let's be fair. You've been waiting for Kazuo longer than Nuvi, right? Make yeah, Kazuo real soon. Let's all be on our guard. I have to farm uh, wishes on my uh, free-to-play account in like super fast order in the next five days, and I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. I have no idea how I'm gonna make it work. I'll be having to do like probably like uh, all day at it one day off stream. Oh, that's... that's unfortunate. Uh, uh, I guess we'll stick with this team. Uh, well, it's five days. I think it's five days if you're on the Asia server. Oh, crap. They give us a trial one. Is there? Is the trial one better than ours? The crit rate's better. Uh, I think the crit damage is about the same. They're... <laughs> I'm sorry. My head exploded. Emotional damage! Yep. Well, at least I get the constellations to play around with. I actually really wanted to play around with her uh, C1. Her C1 makes it that you don't need the uh, uh, Geo Construct. And Shiori this way or through the presence of a Geo Construct. And finish and charge the effect right in unlock. Yeah. After using Twin Blades, a simplified version of the Unhomed on Kinu will be summoned next to your active character for three seconds. Let's go damage. After, so just like one hit of her skill. Well, okay. Basically means that she can be the solo Geo character if I really want. We're in. There really is nobody here. Can we break his uh, clothing? This is a very interesting... As far as, like, ch these, like, story domains go, this one's actually kind of unique. It's kind of cool, actually. It's not like a... It's like an actual, like, building. Child labor time. Oh, God. Uh, pure water. The power of pure water. Visitors. Ah! Oh, Paimon nearly fell out of the air. What is that thing? What is that? Guide. They usually use a recorded tape to get... Oh, that's factory. neat! Please, follow me, dear guests. You're cool. I like you. I'm gonna name you Jimothy. Let us go, Jimothy. To our adventure! First stop on our tour is a look at the gradual evolution of our clothing brand. You give me, like, maximum 
Bioshock vibes right now. Like, holy shit. After that, we welcome you to peruse our most popular styles. Huh. Voltaire well, seems to be doing pretty well for himself, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Why would he feel the need to bother you when he could just focus on improving his own brand? This is the studio where our designs are made. Please, take a look around at your leisure. Yep, this seems like hmm. Voltaire's workspace, all right. Let's see what we can find. Huh. This thing's neat. It's like a little custom... I wasn't expecting a custom model for this. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, marketing expenses. 100,000 mora. Employee expenses. 200,000 mora. Material expenses. Oh, God! It's college. Oh, God, it's accounting notebook. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, it's... Oh, God, that's college. Oh, God, this is literally my homework. This is literally what I would do for school. Oh, Lord. Some examples of Uther's old designs. There's nothing strange about them. The courier shall arrive in the city in the morning via... These are the fitting rooms. Please use them at your leisure. Huh? Uh. There seems to be something in this fitting room. Oh? Secret elevator? Oh, this is neat. Well, this is cool. It seems to have stopped. Oh, where did this thing take us? Seems like we're someplace deeper inside the factory. Oh god, they're, they're, I think their Chiori might be worse than mine. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm thinking their Chiori may not be as good as my Chiori. I'm gonna have to see what her burst looks like. Also, they my, they screwed up the order of my team. I absolutely despise this. Noblesse definitely isn't helping. I mean, it'll increase her burst damage. That's the only thing I need to see now is what her burst is cooking with. Is she cooking with gas with her burst? That's the question I have. Ooh. Conveyor belt going that way? Well, I'm going this way. Alright, well, let's just, uh, we'll just ride the conveyor belt the old-fashioned way. I'll send over some tea. How many sugars? Uh, I take my tea black, actually. Well, this is an interesting little quest. I like this. this place is they actually look like they put quite a bit of work into this one. Are the clothes from Uta's shop seriously made here? Look over there. What's it? Ew. Oh god, why is your sweat shop producing toxic sludge? You're making clothes. This shouldn't be happening. <laughs> and I was the one using unsafe materials, Uter. So he was actually the one who opened an underground factory. No wonder his clothes always felt weird to the touch. He's been using all manner of tricks here in a bid to cut costs. That is a pinch. A pinchy pinchy. A molecule of an atom. Oh my. Should... Should the clothes made here even be worn? Where was my shirt made? <laughs> Never mind issues with shrinking and fading. These materials can give you skin problems if you wear them too often. Yeah, literal toxic sludge. Also, 100% in three Inazuma regions yesterday. God damn, Zinnickel, good stuff. That's terrifying! Let's take some photos right away as evidence. He won't be able to try and deny anything in court. All right, let's keep going. Now, this raises a question of his motivations. How did he think this was going to end eventually? It's like, just, you gotta stop calling this out. 
Use Chiri's elemental skill to cause her dash forward, holding a. Oh. Uh, after you decide your dash direction, use your elemental skill to dash to the location. Oh. So this domain is actually designed around her unique mechanic. Here, follow me. Let's go on. That's kind of cool. You know what? Good job. Good on you. Good on Ahoyo. You know, credit where credit is due. Now, it's probably nothing, but I gotta at least take a look, right? Like, if I were to put a secret treasure chest somewhere, it would most certainly be here. Like, right? Why is my ADHD ADHDing? I unfortunately could not tell you. Hmm. Nothing. Really. I totally would have hit a treasure chest up here. I guess there's one more spot I can... Oh! Oh, I guess we're just not out this part yet. Oh. I'm just me getting my, getting ahead of myself. Okay. I thought I was finding secrets. It would seem... I'm simply not. Alright, we'll just keep pacing. How do you produce this much toxic sludge when you're making t-shirts? What? Uh, what's going on? Our way in's been blocked! He wants us to trap us in the factory. <laughs> Seems like he knew we'd be coming. You did say he knew you really well, didn't you? Yes. And that's because... We used to be partners. Like, you're practically oh. at each other's throats! Now you're telling us you used to work together? I just realized Shinobu... Uh, throws at ninja, ninja balls, ninja blade. You mean kunai? When the, I the throwing knives. To Fontaine, we were both fledgling designers who longed to gain a foothold in the world of fashion. We shared the same goal, so we decided to work together. Oh, ninja stars. In the beginning, we sure both wanted to make clothes yeah, sure, that would stand sure out from the crowd and sure shatter you can. tradition. The kind of clothes that would turn heads and leave people in awe, oh. but with. Every criticism we received, and every sponsor that rejected us, Uter's confidence disappeared little by little. Finally, right before Fashion Week, he came to the conclusion that we wouldn't be able to make the designs we always dreamed of, and we parted ways. For my part, I gambled it all, and devoted everything I had to that one week. I came out the other side with something that really made me proud. I was nervous to present it, of course, but... I knew it was my chance to show the industry what I was made of. In the end, well... Mm. You received the acclaim of all Fontaine while Uter gave up on his dream and turned to making this sketchy stuff. She said sketchy, but the, chat, the, log, the dialogue clearly says dodgy. Curious. Also, this is top ten moments where chat was me and Sprix. Hmm. No, they all want to return their clothing. Yeah. I don't know the exact details of what this, happened. This place is that. gross. All I know is, after I opened Chiori Boutique, he's harassed me every year since. Hmm. <sighs> he's just jealous of what you've accomplished. A guy like that doesn't deserve your sympathy. Also, why is the dialogue always different, man? Because they probably have like a voice line in mind. Like that was the line that was supposed to be there. But it didn't, when it got dubbed over, they either changed it or went with a different take that sounded better. Could be. Gotta go to sleep. Alright, thanks for hanging out, Azel. Have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Well, let's focus on getting out of here first. Missing the show is as good as letting him win. Indeed. Uh, there are some control panels over there. Let's see if any of those buttons do anything. Mash the keyboard, guys. It's the only way. Uh, good adventurers go left. Oh, that doesn't seem to have done anything. Uh, maybe... Uh, that didn't do anything. Oh, did I activate the defense mechanism? Did I activate the self-destruct? I'm sorry, what mode? Okay, let's get a shield going. 
The one thing she's good at right now, her burst. And it was terrible. Awful. It's terrible. Oh my god. This is order. How did they make her so bad here? Like, guys, you've seen my Chiori. Look over there. Seems like there's a way out. Maybe we can use these mechanisms to get higher. Ooh, that doesn't look normal at all. That looked really weird. Let's watch that again. Oh, that looks so weird. Oh. I guess that's its, like, indicator that it's about to come crashing down, but, like, damn. That looks really unnatural. That looks uncanny as hell. Strix, so, do you know where are some side quests that I can do? Uh, there's plenty of them. Depends on which ones you've already done. Um, there's some bigger ones in Fontaine. Like, the stuff in, uh, Mercy Village, where all the Melusines live. Um, if you haven't done those ones already. If I fall into that toxic sludge, will I instantly die? I'm gonna assume I will. Mm -hmm. uh, now that you they played the story quest, Chiori, I see now why they didn't pull for her. They intentionally made her bad in her story quest, tested. I don't even think they made her... I don't think it's intentional. I think it's just something that they do. They just don't put any, like, they just automate it. Okay, so I was actually, I actually was going the right way. I was just doing it too soon. Warning, warning. No! No, 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 okay. No, do not initiate shutdown procedures. I don't even know what that means. Is that the self-destruct button or what? Yeah, welcome from Sprix, also getting Battle Pass tomorrow, hopefully. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, Wilkin value is, yeah, Wilkin is good, and even the Battle Pass value is pretty good, because just even getting the weapon off, it's, like, a pretty good deal. Do we really want to swim in the sludge water? Oh, God. I feel like I should be losing health right now. Ooh, what's over there? I want to go in there! Okay. Yeah, Wilkin is the only thing I don't feel guilty about buying. Yeah, Wilkin and, to some extent, Battle Pass. I think the Battle Pass is usually a pretty good deal. Usually, like, it feels okay, but w the Welkin is actually, like, a, as far as, like, spending money in this game, like, it's a much better value than literally anything else. And door shuts. Finally, the entrance at last. Oh. Same difference. Don't worry, Paimon, you can fight him. Oh, those chambers couldn't hold you, I see. What a surprise. We've collected a bunch of evidence of all the nasty stuff happening at your factory. You're not giving away this time, Uter. You didn't have to do anything, Uter. You could have just existed. Wait, does Cherry do an uppercut when she uses her skill? Uh, it's not really an uppercut, but it's like an upward slash, I think. The evidence on your person, you mean. <laughs> what makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? What makes you think you have a chance to stop me? More mechanical guards? Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate purpose? Oh, so my battle pass two welcomes of my own money. I mean, like, that's fair. I mean, I probably... No, <laughs> how many battle passes have you won off of me, uh, Squid? I think you've gotten... At I know it's at least one, but I think it's been more than that, right? What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags? Proving that fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance! <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself that you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater to it. Focus on your own work, and you get to decide what fashion means. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, you'll cater to all the voices too, you know. After all, 
What is fashion but another form of public opinion? Fashion is about aspiring towards a certain idea. It's all about fashion, boys and girls. But it's up to you to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. That's my ideal, and it's not going to change. Now, I know that she means, like, her vision, like, her way of seeing the world and how she wants to, like, do things, but I can't help but interpret that sometimes as me and my vision. Like, her geo-vision has, has, like, a little voice in her head going, Make it green. Wasn't I the, uh, the only one that won a battle pass from you? Um, well, that wasn't for me. That was, uh... That was, uh, from Leakin, specifically. Not gonna lie, I justify my battle pass in Welkin by saying I basically play an hour a day, so 15 bucks for 30 hours of content is great value proposition, especially as compared to when you go to an arcade. Well, I look at it like a subscription, right? It's like how I would subscribe to, like, World of Warcraft or something. Same idea, in my mind. That's how I justify it. It's well, my WoW subscription. Once the people witness their former darling's spectacular fall... They'll understand how laughable that ideal truly is. I gotta go to the bathroom, but teacher left the class. What do I do? Uh... The class hasn't ended? Oh, damn. We're almost at the end, I think. A uh, cry, That's I guess. That's what you've been trying to prove all this time? Your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long? <laughs> you weren't like this before, Uter. What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? He realized long ago how utterly naive and ridiculous that dream was. We've been very distracted. Yeah, no, seriously. You gave up on your dream. I'm trying. That's why we're like we're like focusing down now. I want to get it done. You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand, but you were just a bitter man who let his regrets dictate his choices. You regret giving up on your dream. So you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice. This whole thing, Uter. It's pathetic. Pathetic? Why don't you take a look in the mirror? You're a fool daydreaming about taking all of Tevat by storm. Well, good luck doing that when even Fontaine doesn't have a place for you anymore. You're right. Maybe all those who pursue their dreams are fools. But more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. Is he watching stream in a classroom? I believe he is, yes. You. Oh, God! Shira, you go first. You have a show to kill. I was not expecting... He's man with a gun. He's the most dangerous thing in Tavat. Man with a gun. Yeah, just leave this guy to us. No, you go instead. He has a gun. It'll be fine. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. Stay safe. So I guess I just solo this fight with Chiori? Trying to leave, are we? I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. Man with a gun. When I was in high school, if I needed to use the hall pass when the teacher was gone, I'd just leave a packet on their desk with the info and take the hall pass, but my teachers were all chill, so I don't know. It depends on the teacher. Trix, you know... Did you know he has a gun? Oh my god, he has a gun! In this situation, violence isn't the answer. It's the question, and the answer is yes! But all that changed after our tour of your factory. Still trying to talk tough, I see. No matter what you She just deflected a bullet with her I sword. Are you sure you want to play this game? If I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. <clears throat> Allow me to show you the true meaning of the Chioria brand. That was kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of cool. The Chioria brand oh. represents more than oh. a person or a trademark. Wasn't expecting a cutscene here? It's a way of life. Oh. I thought I was going to play that combat out. No, it's going to give me a cool cutscene. Greetings, friends at Fontaine Fashion Week. Please feast your eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today. Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 
Well, brilliant, dazzling, and wholly unique. Am I getting a commercial? Most importantly, an enduring, never say die spirit. That's the true meaning of the Chioria brand. And now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself. Did Chiori not? Begin. Interesting. The world may change. Fashion along with it. Oh but my god, are they teasing us? The what a tease. No oh my god. Great. Gioria caters to no one. Not even the times. Rather, Gioria will always leave Look at the these of our time. How about that the uh, back linea outfit? What do you guys think? Is this like them saying that, like, look at these new outfits we're gonna release? <laughs> I doubt it, but still, that'd be cool. They're a little, uh, little over the top, though, right? Except maybe the Linny one. I think the only one there that could work is the Linny well, one, maybe. Then, I suppose all that's left to say is, Happy Fashion Week, fellow dreamers. Was that a commercial? Hey, Blue Tiger, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. No, not black screen, white text. At least this one is just everyone returns to the boutique. It's fine. Linny looks like a seahorse. Uh, how about this? You think so? I thought he looked more like a... Like a pirate, almost. Like a... You know, or like a... I don't know, like a Victorian-era noble. Or like a musketeer. Yeah, get musketeer. I'm gonna go with musketeer, actually. So couture. A little more to the left. Like this? Mm, perfect. So did she kill that guy? Yeah. Oh, that looks great! Miss Chiori, can I take a picture? No. Of course. I didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard. I made it before. I never got my tiny Paimon outfit of mad. I figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show. Well, how can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? Mm -hmm. The Spina's way ahead of you in that regard. Now that you mention it, perhaps our magic troop could use one of those. Teacher came back, thank God. Hallelujah for small mercies. Hmm. Our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat Fox. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear would need an alias, of course. Hmm, how about... Ah, the Hangry Bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, you're right. No, uh, Paimon and Traveler outfit. I wanted my little tiny Paimon outfit. I thought it would have been funny. So I don't know what it would have been. I just would have been funny. I'm mad. To be two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat. Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. How very cat of you. And a bit cramped. Miss Yori, I'm done taking pictures. You can expect the article in tomorrow's Steambird, along with the evidence the traveler gathered. Thank you, Charlotte. It's my pleasure. Bringing the truth to light is a journalist's duty. Run for your life. I guess so. I'm out of town, so see you after I get uh, get to my home. All right, man. Well, appreciate you stopping by. Just the same. Run for you are life, indeed. Going forward, feel free to custom order any accessories you need for Monsieur Verite. It's on the house. Huh? huh? You you really need it? Of course. The same goes for you too, Linny and Lynette. If you have need of any costumes in the future, just drop me a note. What about something other than a costume? Thank you, Chiori. It's much appreciated. Well, hmm. I don't really need anything. Just don't be a stranger, all right? I don't need anything either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Actually, that reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Interesting. Time to stand here awkwardly for two days. Yep. Also, Sprix, why we got so many bots and people joining the server and getting banned? I get no fun because it happens during like one hour. I'm not checking Discord. No, I get it. No, we uh, 
we had a bit of a bot spam problem with like just random bots joining the server and like putting like really bad like inappropriate links and stuff so we had to get a new uh, verification bot installed uh, me and ray got ray got it set up for the most part i just i just helped but uh basically it's to make sure that when someone joins now like you don't have to do anything it just basically means when someone joins now they have to do a verification thing to confirm that they are a human Kakarot was real though came to stream a bunch of wait was there something wrong with Kakarot are you sure when did this happen because I know half curry got hacked and had to get removed from the server for a while mm. Mm, really you sure it's the same person uh he didn't say anything 18 plus images oh wait hold on really They were in stream earlier. They were chit-chatting, so they were here. They didn't mention anything about it. Huh? Um, uh, about that. It was yesterday, though. Yeah, they didn't say anything about it today. The so you sure it's the same person? Has prepared a special vehicle for it's just you. someone who happens to have the same name. Kakarot's we'll not that uncommon. Way out of what? Oh, that's so embarrassing. That is not what she said. I just assume, I'm assuming, it uh, just happened? Oh. Um, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Also, that is not what she said. She said, that was, this is so embarrassing. But she clearly said, glad to hear you've toned it down this time. Which is not, huh. I think they changed the line here. You want me to unban? Um... If we can get some more information on what happened, maybe, but I want to know what happened in detail first. Ooh, do we get something nice too, Chiori? Tiny Paimon outfit. 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 I want to get her out of that damn of onesie. Just hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show. Appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization. Using weaponry in public. Hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. Uh-oh. Um, Shivers, we can explain. If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, please report them to the special patrol at your earliest. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, but I remember seeing them sending 18 plus stuff. I'm not sure if they were hacked. Yeah, if they were, they didn't say anything in chat here. I'm surprised they, you know, they probably would have if something had happened, right? Enjoy but that, uh, didn't you? yeah, we'll, I'll, we'll follow up on that when we can. You know, let's find out what happened. Says the one who pulled that stunt earlier. How about you do me a favor and tell me in advance next time you're planning something like that? And if I had, would you have approved? No, but it would have at least spared me a whole lot of anxiety. Hmm, curious. Yesterday we were sending 18 plus links, so I banned them. Like we've been doing. But it was yesterday this happened, right? Because they were in chat today, and they said nothing of it, which is curious. Like, they were just chit-chatting like normal, so I'm curious if, like, it's not the same person, or if it was, like, a hacking situation and they don't have any, even have any knowledge of it. Well, I would say I more than made it up to you, have I not? A whole underground workshop Switch check in the DM. Sandra, and the man uh, responsible, all tied up and handed to you on a silver platter. I'm checking, I'm checking. Sounds pretty thoughtful, if you ask me. Offender, Kakarot, by to BTW. This continent, moderator, this one's good. Okay. Um... Oh, it's just the th you. Uh, it's just the mod log. It just says name of the offender, the reason, and who did the ban. That's all he sent me. It could not be. It could very well be not the same person. We've had like Kakarot is a not super common, but it's a name that's referencing something. So I could see a second Kakarot. I've picked out a few people I suspect as bots. Interesting. Well. I'm not doing any witch hunts on that, but keep an eye on it, just the same. You can have this one. We don't do witch hunts. Witch hunts are bad. Well, friends, I would say we've earned ourselves a nice meal for our efforts. Let's go. Spina's treat. I'll have to take a rain check. I've still got a lot of paperwork to take yeah, care of, curious. so you all go have in moderation. Alright, I'll take a look at that in a bit. 
One of the bots may be Aiko. It could be. Oh, by the way, Chiori, I ran into Vanger on the way here. He had a message for you. I don't need to hear it. I'm sure the old fool used pretty much every apology in the book. I'll just visit him some other day and give him a hard time about everything. <laughs> you know him well. Hmm. Thanks again, Shelfress. Oh yeah, bots not boys. Indeed. But cynical too, isn't that sus? Not super? It I was, but I don't think it, I don't think I think I'm not worried about that one. Nah, I'm not a bot, trust. Beep boop. That was really quite an amazing show. You don't say. All right, all right. Uh, follow me if you want in on the celebration feast. Come on, we're leaving. Yeah, the only celebration feast I want now is my lunch. Traveler, I'm hungry. Paimon, could you go wait for me at that place with the view? I'll let Navia know that we'll be a little late. There's something I'd like to give you. A place with the view? Outfit. Oh, Outfit. Paimon knows where you Outfit. Outfit. Sure, no Outfit. problem. Perfect. I'll be right there. Yeah, there is another Kakarot in the server. It could very well be, like, uh, Kakarot doesn't use that name on Discord. It could have been someone maliciously pretending to be Kakarot, too. That's, all, again, not uncommon. Because you got to ask yourself, where are these bots getting the link from, right? Because I don't think it's just generated. I think they're actually pulling it from somewhere, I would assume. Unless someone posted the link somewhere. Which, by the by, um, I'm definitely going to be uh, limiting people's ability to generate links for the time being. Like, it's just going to be a moderator thing for the time being. So, Zix, can I punch Carlbot in the face for sending Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, no. It's a necess- You gotta remember, Polar, it's a necessary evil. Because if I remove that feature, then... All of a sudden, someone drops a hundred, a hundred photo spam, and then the, you know we have a problem. Uh, most of these bots joined this month. Interesting. I sent links to all my alts, which isn't Mooney. I mean, they're all the same thing. Okay, five images rather than three. I'm sticking with three. I'm, I'm, it's four actually. Four is the limit, but I'm sticking with that for now. Just to, you know, keep it under control. Like I said, necessary evil. You just have to trust me on this one. Oh, we didn't wait long at all. But what did you want to give us that you couldn't share right in front of everyone else? Look at the person that joined edit for you. Could they have been a bot? Maybe. Here. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't assume a bot. I would assume someone just looking for a job. I think they were trying, I think they wanted to edit for me. And they wanted to, like, be hired. And I'm like, well, first and foremost... Astra is real, not a bot. That is true. I can confirm. I can also... I think I can confirm that by now. I'm gonna go ahead and just give you some advice. Just some general advice. If you want someone to take you seriously for a job, don't insult the quality of their own work. I'm just gonna say right now that's probably not the play. Because when he opened up with... Man, you should... Man, you really need an editor. And it's like... Ow. Okay. Wow. Thanks, guy. It's like, well, yeah, I guess, but um, it's not going to be you now. It's like, thanks. Also, my sister said it once happened on her server, and one person clicked on it and sent the link to everyone on their friends list and server. Yep, it's very um, it's it's bad. You know, you got to be really careful with those. Spricks now that I'm not Spricks knows that I'm not a bot because he knows my full government name. That is true. It's Richard Richardson. We should get rid of Ray. Hmm. Sprix knows my name. I'm special. My cousin docks me in a call. I mean, he docks me right back, so, you know. Paimon outfit? Oh, wow. Oh. A brooch! And in the style of Chioria Boutique, too! Wait, Paimon gets one as well? Wait. Is this permanent? I've only made Oh, let that be permanent. That's cool. Perhaps it's small, but I like it. You've been a great help. Even when things were Polar doesn't bleak, know my name. You stayed by my side. His name is Squid. My name is Layla. I I know her name. 
Also, Richard Richardson. All right, have a good night, Miku. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. When I felt like I had to fight back and win, even if it was just to honor the trust that you had in me. Well, we may have helped a little, but Paimon would say you deserve most of the credit. This result, it was all you, Chiori. I know for certain that was not the case. I also know Foxy's real name, Richard Richardson. I've chased my dream for so long that I've come to understand something. Apart from conviction and persistence, the thing that matters most is having friends. All right, now settle down, Richards. You don't believe in yourself. All right, take care, Miku. Appreciate you. Have a good night. A single person can only do so much. Without all your help, Chioria Boutique could have easily fallen to ruin. It would have ever gotten to that point. Not if you had anything to say about it. But, um, about the stuff you said at the show, you aren't worried it'll rub some people the wrong way? Perhaps my words were a little pretentious, but they do reflect how I truly feel. I won't bow or scrape before any force in this world, much less any individual. Don't dox a random person who isn't here. Also, don't dox people in my chat, please. I'm confident in the quality of my work. Create something beautiful and there I recommend it's one of those things if you're gonna dox yourself don't that's just it's it's technically not against the rules but don't do it please it's bad don't do that and it's definitely against the rules to dox someone else though well, guess there's nothing to worry about then. Should which is why everyone is Richard join them at the victory feast? oh yes of course but before that I'd like to admire the view for just a little while longer I'm key ring. You know, I've all don't, the uh, spent in Fontaine. Don't do that. <sighs> Just in case. By far. Just in case. Well, that was a good quest line. I like that. But there's one important factor I need to confirm. Ah, oh, it doesn't stay. Ooh. Unless I have to equip it. I should do that. Uh, where would it be? It's probably just under these. Now, what? Was it a purple? Hold on. Let's see if I can spy it. Hmm? Interesting. Get the luxurious chest. We're a little too late in stream for that, Foxy. I will do that tomorrow, though. Uh, where... If I was that... Hmm. Where did it go? We did get something, right? Am I, am I going crazy? Hey, Praneeth, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Did you check out my edits? I... Yes. I believe I did. I do not remember, though. I'll rewatch them. Be on the safe side. Did we get an item from that quest, or am I going crazy? Well, let me get Traveler in here for a sec. He got a brooch, too, right? Uh, Turvler. Where is my Turvler? This world is... No. Damn. I am a little disappointed, actually. I thought we were going to get something for that for a second, but... Unless someone knows something I don't, in which case I'm just, like, looking in the wrong spot or something, but... Handmade bro... Oh, the brooch... Mm. Okay. You can put it in your teapot. Okay. Uh, okay, it's fine. Well, that could have been something neat, but I guess I didn't want to all in on that. Maybe it's too hard to implement. Add astro Thank you for comp Well, nonetheless. Add astro It's a 
Who do you think is the best looking character design wise, like their clothes and hair? Best one? I'd have to sleep on that. I'd have to think really hard about that. I know one of my favorites is Dia. Like, I look at Dia and I'm like, yeah, that's nearly perfect. Other than that, like Rosaria? I put Rosaria really high on that list. Fix Markov next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Uh, sure. Uh, Alexa, remind me to do something on. Tuesday at 10 a.m. Okay, I'll remind you Tuesday wine tastes the same as I remember. Oh yeah, Dia's one of my favorite characters. I love Dia's design. I like tall ladies with metal claws. I mean... Yeah, I guess. I mean, look at her, though. She's awesome. Like, I love Dia's design. And, like, Rosaria is very uh, much on that list as well. Yeah, I have a type. <sighs> Newbie's just a uh, is just okay. Okay, he's all right. He's a uh, he's fancy looking. He's got that regal look down, which I do like. Anyway, I do need to wrap things up here though. So as always, thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while we did that quest, and you know, hope you guys had a good time as always. Why do you do this to me? I don't like Dia's clothes. I mean, it's desert fashion, but still, she looks poor. I don't know. I think she looks more, like, heavy metal than anything. Than I think she looks more metal than poor. I see the design, I think, like, heavy metal. As a Rosaria appreciator, which is better, OG outfit or new outfit? Um, I like both. But there's elements about the original one I like more. Like, I liked how the new one looked a bit more gothic, which I did like, but I think I just prefer the OG one. I think I just had more time with it, personally. Dia is black. I think she's more brown, really. More like an... Like, more Indian, I guess. But I don't, I don't really know. I don't think it really matters, does it? In my mind, I'm like, I don't think that really matters. It's not really, you know. Yeah, a little, uh, that's a bit of a bra moment, isn't it? Square neckline is meh, especially on the new. Yeah, I like, I like the old one more. I use the new one just because, you know, for the sake of variety, but I'll probably... It's one of those ones, like, I, I can go either way on. No, Kaya's brown, Dia seems black like African. Well, I don't think so. And, again, doesn't matter. I don't even want to get into this. I don't even want to get into this. It's not important, right? So have a good one, everyone. As always, cheers. Take care. Have a great rest of your days. Bye-bye.